say you want to get in. Say you want to get in. The Yellow Brick Road. This video does not reflect the actual views of real people. These are actors playing a role to entertain audiences. No persons or animals were harmed in the making of this video. Gosh, I love YouTube and I love Google. You can sit right here. Who dat? No, it's who dat? That's uh, the Yellow Brick Road, starring Jordan and James. You mean the superior, superior, superior genetics? What? And that light is not being. You know That's what? right. Two thirds a person. <laughs> Doesn't it remind you of three fifths a person? Yeah. Well, I have I have test results that say I'm smarter than you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I am indeed Jordan. This is indeed James. 
Uh, so we might be showing up later. I don't know. Today we're gonna be talking about a kangaroo with, uh, with he has a beef with Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. He's got like an Eminem style beef with Nick Cannon. Now you need that gray hoodie. <laughs> Now you look like Darth City. <laughs> it's like, yes, I'll pick on someone who can't rap back at me. <laughs> yes. So, uh, the kangaroo is going to talk about uh, prison and slavery based on his analysis of Nick Cannon and some other person. Personal disinformation. It were, I don't even... I don't even I don't think there's a real point to the, to us doing this video. We just want to make fun of him a little bit. You know, point we, out how dumb some of his ideas are. We have no life, so we pick on you. <laughs> Typical liberal leftist. And also, for our second half, we're going to watch a debate between Gavin McInnes and Black Hitler, a.k.a. Ghazi Kadzo. Yep. Some uh, made-up name mm -hmm. thing. That uh, could be his real name. He wanted to give away his slave name, so he picked his one slave. Out. He picked out Gazi. You said it on me. He said, "I want to sound like a new device that's coming out in the spring of 2019." A Gazi Kozo. Let's begin. Now, what oh fuck! Video there. Look at that. Why, what happened? He's locked outside. <laughs> Alright, I'll wait. I'll wait for him. I should even consider timestamps for this thing. Let's see. start an illegal war, you could basically do whatever the fuck. Yeah. She's like, I wouldn't have been able to have surgery if it wasn't for Obama and his care. Care. Uh, it's called Medicare for Everyone. That would work. Oh, I saw Aquaman if you want to do another uh, Aquaman. <laughs> no more Aquaman for me. No. Alright, let's timestamp this up. Oh my bad, I forgot. <laughs> no, no, you need to be reminded of uh, what happens when you fuck with YouTube Bro. and the UFC. Two major giants. What am I doing? Maybe you should stay away from the UFC. <laughs> You've no, been banned we, three times. We a bit. You go to Twitch. Twice. Oh, I can't go on Twitch here. You can't? Nope. Remember? Ah. Oh, we're on Facebook. Facebook. I can see the feed here. So. Is that Facebook or Twitch? This is Twitch. Looks like Facebook. What the fuck? I don't give a fuck. Uh, Why does Twitch show like Facebook? I don't know. What is it, like based off videos? It's like a video game streamers or whatever. I yeah. did say that, didn't I? No. Oh, should I get my jeans from the car? Should we all have? <laughs> oh, wait. No, we I wish I had jeans. I wish I had shorts right now. Did you guys go to like some club? No, I I went to get ben, more blood work and ben camp? no. What did the doctor say? Anyways, Some sorry good. for the delay, folks. Oh, we live? Yeah, we're live. Oh shit, sorry. The point is for me not to edit. I want to be as lazy as possible. But whatever. So our first video is his name Devin Tracy. Devon. Fuck it. Let's call him the kangaroo guy. I'll call him Devon. <laughs> Why kangaroo? Uh, Devon Tracy, the kangaroo guy, is going to teach us how dumb Nick Cannon is. Dick Tracy. Let's go. That guy has just fucking lost his mind, as right. far as I can tell. Although, I, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of Neil deGrasse Tyson, to be honest. No me. He's, he's, no, me. He's, he always strikes me. He's so pedantic, and he'd... 
and really uh, uh, like he's very arrogant, arrogant. Yes, exactly. about and and what he's saying is not that fucking great. No. It's like stuff that we all he's know. He's very mediocre in his field, yeah. and he what? acts as the though. And I, I think I saw him the other day on. I think it was on an AIU video. Did you watch? The there was one yesterday that oh, got I released. Watched yesterday, but he, AIU did a video about Neil deGrasse Tyson. Shout out to AIU. 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 Love AIU. Love Devin Tracy, if Devin. you want to call in someday. I did email him oh, yeah, once saying, "Can you be on the podcast?" Love Devin Tracy. Yeah, he's the best. I love. Him. By the way, most of his videos are like this. It's a lot of pizzazz with mediocre ideas mixed in. So that's why you're seeing a whole presentation oh. going on. Yeah, here. a lot of filler. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of filler, we'll especially see. this one. See a bunch of girls shaking their asses and shit. It's like, what? There's gonna be a reason why we stopped the video halfway through. It's not because we're being lazy, as much as it has nothing to do with him saying anything. It's just video clips from something else. Mm. So, forgive us. <laughs> What do we have here? We have a guy named Nick Cannon. You might be familiar with him. He was a, I don't know what he is. He's a black guy. I'm guessing he was a kid actor. And then he got into comedy, did sketch comedy, was on MTV, did that wild and out thing. And he was an actor, pretty good actor actually. And then he just did everything. He was the host of America's Got Talent, randomly. And then he married Mariah Carey. And they have to be divorced, right? Nobody marries Mariah Carey and doesn't get divorced. Somebody Google that. And now, I don't know what he does. He probably sings or raps. But one thing I do know he's doing, he's going back to school. Much like Will Ferrell did, much like Rodney Dangerfield did. He is attending school. Which school? Howard University, the ethno school. All blacks, all the time. And he's done a video here, titled, very provocative, Is Slavery Still Legal? It's a probing question. Uh, can be answered in two letters. It really signifies kind of a desperation, not just from black people like this who want to feel indignant. They want to be in the middle of an injustice. They want to be on the right side of history. You know, we're, we're kind of simple, really. We like things that are clear cut. Who are the good guys, who are the bad guys? That's how we operate. When I was growing up watching Star Wars, at no point in that film, did I question who the good guys were and who the bad guys were? The Stormtroopers and Darth Vader were obviously the bad guys. Not just because of the Imperial March, but because... Filler. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure someone did due diligence. I mean, I'm sure they committed war crimes. Who knows? One thing I think is interesting is that they all had masks on, so we didn't get to meet them. In that last Star Wars movie where we had that uh, black stormtrooper, he takes his mask off and you meet the guy. And he has like fears and hopes and dreams. And then you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't just root for these people to be killed. So putting them all in masks and making them all anonymous, it made it easy for us. It's like, oh yeah, definitely the bad guys. Fuck them. But is slavery legal? Nick? Nick? No, no, it's not. You're gonna have to funnel your rage somewhere else, but but let's see where he takes this. Go ahead. So, obviously, uh, if you can think logically, we know he's not saying uh, prisoners are straight up slaves. He's saying something quite different, right? So he's basically saying it's like slavery. But they just said, okay, this will be more romantic if I write it this way. Is prison slavery or whatever the fuck it says. Mm. Common sense would point that out. But I don't think the kangaroo's here for arguments. I think he's here for entertainment value. You mean Devon? Make people giggle. And, yeah, Devon. Mm -hmm. right. Slavery is still legal. And, uh, okay, well, to the point. That is a great argument. Uh, Nick, let me emancipate your mind right now and let you know about a little document, little memo. Not sure if you got it. It's a TPS report. It's called the Emancipation Proclamation. It happened long before you were born, before you were even a sparkle in your father's Afro pic. Uh, let's take a time out to address what the fuck Nick Cannon is wearing. He has an orange diaper on his head. He's looking like a cross between the Dalai Lama. As you can see, no argument here, just 
the Emancipation Proclamation. That was, you learned that in social studies. There's no more investigating that needs to happen there. You just learned it in social studies in seventh grade. Emancipation Proclamation. I know what argument, so I'm going to see if a dive out of your head. Fuck <laughs> you, man. That's what he does. He's Thank like body shaming, right? Or clothing shaming. <laughs> Whatever bullshit. Yeah. Just crack a joke to fill up time. Uh, there's, there's a reason why Kanye West was talking about abolishing the 13th Amendment. There was a reason for that. It had something to do with workers are becoming basically like slaves. It's for their labor. Right? Yeah. If, you're, if you're being paid next to nothing mm. and you're fucking moving cinder blocks all fucking day, that's close to slavery. Yeah, I agree with that. And you're locked away in a prison for your life. That too. Alright. and Aunt Jemima. Nick, what are you doing? And he's got Beats by Dre around his neck, because what, that's hip-hop? Is that Turban by Dre? He's at Howard University, he's sitting in front of a bunch of books he hasn't read, and he's with a woman who has just clearly stolen the window dressing and wrapped it around her head. And uh, obviously you, you've studied this, you've, just, you've studied administration of justice. I'm not sure about those close-ups, man. Like, what is this? Is the camera guy trying to get loose with his cinematography? See. Why am I up in this dude's pores? And that's where your doctor is, post, and, and even. Where'd you find this kangaroo I should guy? post. I should post a picture of your face, dude. <laughs> the kangaroo See. guy. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. he ugly? No, he's bald. My eyes. I'm not calling him ugly. You're just saying you're bald. <laughs> you might be Canadian, but that doesn't really matter. But. See, he has, he has a lack of an argument, which means he'll find any fucking thing he can to, to say to fill up the time gaps, you know? So, yeah. he picks on people, and then he doesn't have good content to back it up? His content is mediocre. Let's say you argue that baseball should exist. Mm -hmm. Let's say, like, there's a, a debate going on between people saying baseball should exist and people saying baseball shouldn't exist. And you're arguing that it should exist. Instead of him arguing your points, he'll put... Well, look at your jacket. Look what jacket you're wearing. See? Uh, what a jerk. Like, it has nothing to do with the argument. Thus, I ask, why the fuck are you doing this? It's for entertainment value. Yeah. Like, then just say it straight up say, this is an entertainment channel. This has nothing to do with anything. Please don't go home and write my ideas down and run away with them. Yeah. He's making fun of his pores. Consider me a comedian. Or something like he that. He does a lot of these videos. Like, dude, I kind of uh, like I can make fun of all the pictures are uh, that are of you on Google, you know. But I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> you know, they're there. I saw them. All right, continue. I'm posing by criminology and even breaking down which a couple of our classes we had that you opened my eyes to of the difference between sociology and criminology. Is what just the spelling, basically, right? It's really just the study of black men. <laughs> Uh, that's not good if criminology is the study of black men. Anybody want to place a bet that that's not the definition of criminology? Let's take a gander. Criminology, the scientific study of crime and criminals. That's shocking. But yeah, Nick, you sort of backed your way up onto a point there, which is that black people commit a ton of crime. But uh, let's not address that. Let's not face that. Let's watch you spin. Go ahead. Criminology is ultimately that. Like, of just be, being... Uh, and, and that just that statement alone just... When you think about that, criminology is the study of a black man. <laughs> By the way, Nick Cannon's points are dumb as fuck. Oh, yeah. It should be easily, easily dis... Uh, yeah, but he can't do it. He can't do it. No, you saw him when he was on Jesse Lee Peterson's show. Yeah, yeah he lost to Jesse Lee Peterson yeah. in a debate. Big time. Like on simple, yep. religious points. Does he know he got destroyed? <laughs> Intuit Probably not. Intuitively, I would yeah, say. Somewhere deep down, he knows it. It's like, amazing. Next. <laughs> it's like, you let that fuck. Nick, have you thought about this? I don't think you have. What I love is, they're about to talk about prisons. So now, instead of blaming the black men who commit crime, instead of blaming the absentee fathers, or the mothers, let's not forget the mothers, shout out to Tommy Sotomayor, if we're not going to address that, these people just, they look for any other thing to focus on. So they'll focus on, you know what the problem is, it's the cops. Yeah, those damn cops. Just like the reason we've been having all these house fires recently is because of the firefighters. Yeah, well, you know, every time I see a fire, I see those firefighters. You think that's a coincidence? I think they're probably arsonists. Have you seen Backdraft? 
So yeah, they'll blame the cops. They'll blame they'll blame the crime itself. They'll be like, yeah, why is drug dealing a crime? Well, let's blame the actual crime. Get rid of the crime, and then you get rid of the criminals. I guess that's one way of thinking about it. Then they'll blame white people in any variety of ways. Then they'll blame the legacy of slavery, the generational trauma, etc., etc. But now they're going to just straight prisons. I think the reason we have mass incarceration of black people in prisons is because we have prisons in the first place. Why do we even have prisons? If we just got rid of the prisons, we would cease to have a problem with black men going to prisons. And and that that that, that blew my mind. Like so, it, because when you think of staring at his headpiece is making me hungry for pancakes. I'm about to Uber eat some pancakes. With maple syrup, I bet your ass that's happening. Things to be criminalized, and even when the why study a black man, and why has the, the whole concept of criminology even been created, and then it goes all the way back to being a black man, and what that means in America. And yeah, I could, I could fucking pick him apart. That was, yeah. that was ridiculous. He has, he has no clue what he's talking no, about. No, he's just saying shit. Are we picking on that guy, or are we picking on the kangaroo guy? Whoever says dumb shit. Oh, both. Oh, we're it's, it's, on both. it's his video, but he's commentating on this, so I'm not going to let that slide either. You know? So we're okay, correcting both. Right. Whoever says dumb shit, if one of us said dumb shit, should call him out. It's just the way it is. Gotcha. B, and going back to the property mentality of ultimately... You know, we were never, this system was never designed for us to set up, for us to win or succeed as citizens. We were always property. Nick, 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 Nick. Somebody find the dude from Quantum Leap, figure out how to do his little magic trick, and jump on back to 1860, and you might have a point. What a scattershot, meandering, pointless thing you just said. The system wasn't set up to help blacks or let them win? What system are you talking about? Crimes? And why? Because what, you once were property? That, dude, let it die. Get over that. Shit. No, setting up prisons and establishing law and order and punishing criminals? That is beneficial to you. It helps all the blacks who don't want to be robbed or raped or killed. In fact, it helps you guys disproportionately because you're victims of this crime more often. And so we heard a swath of dumb shit from the kangaroo. Uh, the last point he made about, okay, prisons being a good thing. Now, for me personally, I'm like, you're not really helping anyone. Uh, in fact, they, people have shown that they become better criminals in jail. Yeah. Also, the offenses, uh, should a nonviolent drug offender be in jail for five years? Maybe I'm like some of them did, like manslaughter. You know? Like a first offense or something like that. Yeah. Or if you look back in the 80s in the war on drugs, like crack had a better, a larger penalty than cocaine, even though they're the same exact drug. Well, I found out in criminal justice class that the prisons are actually like a home to them. Like they're like well, well lit. They give them good food. They have a place to work out. Like, I mean, like they might, you know, obviously get abused by the officer or whatever that's on guard and duty or a gang, but, you know, they've got good stuff there that kind of some people don't want to leave yeah. well those know, are uh, what theories you call? or no those are what you call like uh, what's the word when they get used to being in a certain scenario then it's like I get out of jail I don't I don't you grow accustomed to it yeah I yeah. can't get a job when I leave here I yeah. can't do this so I can't do that I don't want to leave I can't vote Let me I can't stay. do it. yeah Let me can't stay. Stay. decide to go back huh. well they might not see another way out or another way of living but, uh... Oh, yeah, what are you talking about? Sorry. Uh, his first point. Let's see. What I... Forgive me, I forget you. There. And, and why has the, the whole Geogenic. concept of criminology even been created? And then it goes in or succeed as citizens. We were always property. Nick. Nick, Nick, Nick. Somebody find the dude from Quantum Leap, figure out how to do his little magic trick. And... Oh, all right. He's talking about... Slavery ended 1860, which yeah. means all the injustice just went out. Yeah, away. no, it didn't. So, nah. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Nah. Uh, There's certain states that still practice their shit. Well, in the South especially, what they would do is they'd gather up prisoners and sell their labor for profit, mm -hmm. which is essentially slavery. 
right? What they do is they get them into economic slavery, which is we claim you steal something and say, okay, you got to pay this fine. The fine is some obscene amount that they can't pay back. So right you have to do labor for me. <laughs> so you have to work off the, this money, yeah. right? You have to pay this debt by working, and you'll work for this private company owner. Yeah, that's like the old show back in the day when you don't have enough money for a meal, and you yeah. stay and wash the dishes. And yeah, shit. it's yeah. basically the same thing. So they say, "Well, you cheated a five dollar uh, check right here, or a yeah, a five dollar check that you're supposed to pay our diner. You owe us ten thousand dollars now. You got to work the dishes until you can pay that back." Oh, like you kind of a messed up sheriff or marshal, whatever, and he's like, "Oh, I'm the law. You can't. I'm above you." Well, it's yeah, it's, yeah, it's, a, state, life? it's a state government. Hmm? Life, the movie, Eddie Murphy, and uh, maybe a long time ago, uh, Martin Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah, that's been a long time. Ago. Sorry. They're there till they're fucking old. They're like, <laughs> the point is, doing chains, doing work on the railroad. The point yeah. is that thing was around until like the thirties, nineteen thirties, until yeah. uh, FDR was like, okay, we actually have to enforce the Thirteenth Amendment now. Yeah. They, they just weren't enforcing it for a long time. Even yeah. after the Civil War, why not? Yeah. It was after it. was even for uh, liberating people. <laughs> yeah. And they didn't really, like, clear it up until after a white prisoner died. So Lincoln died in Working, like, a coal mine or something like that. So Lincoln's idea kind of just died in vain I don't think it was his while. idea. Yeah, I don't think it was really his idea. I think idea. that dude might have been an asshole. Yeah. Uh, Huh. And obviously you have Jim Crow to like the 60s and all that yeah. shit. I didn't hear about that. Was and you have the cool. crack ed- epidemic where they brought drugs into the United States, into inner cities. Oh, yes, of course. And Jim Crow. What? Mm-hmm. What about Jim Crow? Jim Crow is like a series of laws that were designed to... Uh, is that the KKK? Or? No. Mm, no. Not just Jim were, Crow. They were probably in favor of it. Jim Crow. Jim Crow, Crow segregation, right? Here's a white bathroom, here's a black bathroom. Like that type of shit. Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. Then you have the crack ep- epidemic where, you know, CIA brought drugs into inner cities and then it became a vicious cycle of, okay, we're bringing the drugs in, we're giving them to these guys, and we catch these guys and bring them to jail. Yeah. And then there are, we make money off of them, and it's just this vicious cycle of things. Because the industrial complex, man. Yeah. And then we saw something today. Right? Yeah. Where uh, apparently, like in Chicago and spe- uh, specifically, where trains were getting uh, robbed of guns from the military. Alright, it's better. They went offline. Mm-hmm. This time. It says we're still going. Oh, never mind. Alright. Yeah. Let me just make sure real fast. Yeah, we're still good. Should we talk about the railroad talking about? Yeah, so in Chicago, we were just recently watching. Uh, I was looking up videos like how guns get into Chicago. Now we heard some stories that are not substantiated. Like a guy would say, there's one dude who was an ex-gang member saying that there's just people just dropping crates of guns. Yeah, crates of guns. And, and like, then just, just leaving. Like disclosed uh, locations. Just leaving it there yeah. with these exotic guns that... You don't just buy at a store no, somewhere. You can't, you can't go get like a semi automatic, you know. Yeah. You can't. You can't get a, like a handgun and get an extended clip for it. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's like, who makes these guns? Yeah. Where'd, this, where'd this crate come from? Huh? But those are like, you can somewhat consider them hearsay, even though I'm willing to listen to it. Oh, sure, yeah. But the one that was substantiated on the news is that. Uh, people were robbing trains of incoming shipments of guns yeah. from the military yeah. and it's happened several like over and over again it's been yeah. happening and the way to know that is like to get a tip off of yeah. when and where and how and for some reason they had laxed security yeah. for these high powered weaponry just it's, sitting there it's so different than like when uh, I think the US government like oh Obama oh we just we left the weapons oops yeah. Oh, that's right. And then that, that, and then that becomes a vicious cycle. They're like, what about that tank, or what about that extra vehicles, or stuff yeah, we yeah. left behind? Yeah. N- they never talked about that. Toyota trucks and shit like that. 
Like, I just didn't make Toyota trucks. They don't have a factory for it's making like, them. Oh, it's US. like the Iron Man movie. We're like, we're selling them. All right, anyway, we're off topic, sorry. Well, you're, you're, kinda, really. you're right there. Yeah. But that's like a fiction. So, yeah. so did, it's based off of what, well, that part, as yeah. far as a, a weapon industry. Yeah. So for well, Lord of War with Nicolas Cage would be a good movie. Mm-hmm. But uh, as far as the kangaroo's point that, you know, 1860, though, that's a... Is dumb Very as fuck. vague. Yeah. Well, it's irresponsible. Purposely looking, uh, like having a cutoff date for history. And that's it. See? 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 See, yeah. Nick Cannon? It's like, fuck, dude. I mean, there's moderate examples still. California with the fires. And uh, Kamala Harris purposely keeping people in prison so that they could risk their lives fighting the fire. Because who cares? They're prisoners. Yeah. That sounds like modern slavery to me. I don't know. And the fire is like a drug war? No, no, no like fires, wildfires. Oh, that the are, wildfire. That's oh. burning down neighborhoods in California. That has something to do with blacks. With prisoners. Huh. This isn't about, well, these two groups, Nick Cannon and this guy and the girl might make it about black and white, but I'm looking at it as, yeah, prison, there's a lot of similarities between that and slavery. There's a lot of similarities. Some money, so. Yeah. Believe it or not, slave masters took care of the slaves because they were worth a lot of money. Money. Uh, yeah. So when you see prisoners like, oh, they have this new facility and new new concrete to stare at, it's like, okay. Good guys, we got weights now. It's like, yes. They're a commodity. You have to take care of them. You can't just let them starve and shit. Oh, so it's a good thing I brought it up then, because it proves your point. Yeah, adds to it a bit, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's continue with uh, Kangaroo with Devon. Devon. And jump on back to 1860, yeah. and you might have a point. What a scattershot, meandering, pointless thing you just said. The system wasn't set up to help blacks or let them win. What system are you talking about? Crimes? And why? Because what? The system to design to. Uh, Is he been to Detroit? Designed for profit. That means taking advantage of the most. Uh, how, how do I say this? Disadvantaged group of people, no matter what they are or what they look like, he doesn't get that. So. In fact, that ex-gang member talking about guns being dropped off, Yeah, he was saying that too. He's like, I think it's about the opportunity of it. Like, the people, yeah. like, I can take advantage of this yeah. with mm-hmm. these people. It could be a group of uh, Ir- Irish uh, yeah, a group of Irish people, like in, yeah. in the like, boroughs of like, uh, New Watch York. Watch out for that, Dan, because the mic's going to pick that up. Uh, boroughs in New York, and it's like, oh, you guys live in a ghetto, huh? <laughs> Listen, yeah, it's like no matter who, what, where, you know. Why? But if you look at uh, oh, the why it doesn't matter. But also, I want to bring up it. the point of uh, in the South, I think there was a form of racism. I don't like using that word, but it seems like it is what it is in that scenario. With the with that, uh, you know, making up excuses to arrest people to throw yeah. them in prison to get mm-hmm. them to do labor. At that point, there were poor whites and poor blacks at like the same economic standing, mm-hmm. and after they started arresting people and using them for labor, it sort of went this way. Yeah. And the poor whites at that time became the new middle class. Yeah. And these guys were just like, "You're fucked." Fuck. Especially the, them. That's messed up. So there, I think there are ripple effects through history. You can't sure. just can't just ignore it. It's easy to understand how, uh, I like guess, like a a generation of people. <laughs> have been in a, a similar area as far as the economic situation for a long time. Like, no, oh, they're, yeah. they're just lazy. It's like, no, asshole, no. Things carry on, man. If, you're, if your mom and dad couldn't read, and your grandparents couldn't read, and your great-grandparents couldn't read, and they all couldn't read, and then it gets to you, and it's like, okay. It's not really everyone starting at zero. You're like, you start a little bit lower. You have less resources to get to. Sure. At the same time, they do have willpower to go and fucking... Yeah, try and learn these things. Yeah. So that's why that's why I'm disagreeing with both of these mm-hmm. you guys. Yeah. Alright, let's continue. <clears throat> Once we're property, that dude, let it die. Get over that. Shit. No, setting up prisons and establishing law and order and punishing criminals? That is beneficial to you. It helps all the blacks who don't want to be robbed or raped or killed. In fact, it helps you guys disproportionately because you're victims of this crime more often. And then when it comes to police, that was just, that was all like bullshit. This guy's moral compass is 
It took no research to, or no like investigating at all on any level yeah. to do that. It's, it's embarrassing. You just read a crime stat and said, "Oh, I figured it out." It's funny how when you look into the crime stats and you just dig deeper, you realize a lot of it's based on ah, bullshit. Yeah. So. Yeah. The crime percentage. Crime, crime statistics that they use to favor their opinions. <laughs> yeah. Where it's like, oh, you mean right. like real people, like cops, or like you're talking about the people on the videos? Like FBI statistics. They'll oh, use FBI. those. They'll use those statistics to make an argument. And then when you look at when you look at statistics and where they're coming from, specifically, it's just a bunch of bullshit. That's what I figured. Man, arrested for like right now, if some cop walked in here and arrested you for murder, you would count as a statistic for a murder charge or for under. You would count as murder on on the FBI statistics list. Yep. As far as people arrested for something, you will add to the percentage for these guys that make YouTube videos. You will add to their percentage as far as how many white people commit murder. Mm. Even though you're just arrested for it, you're not convicted of it, they will count you as a murderer in their statistics. That's terrifying. Because maybe maybe they didn't bother reading, they just saw what they, like, oh, that's... That's what I agree with, so yeah. I'll go with this. Or if I, you know, I see that there's a, there's a cop, you know, by uh, Jordan's house, and he's not at his house, but what I'll do is I, uh, I get a box of guns and bullets and shit, I put it on his doorstep, and I ring the doorbell real fast, and I run away, and the cop hears it, like, what's going on here? And I scream, help! Like, That's oh. actually happened with a guy when he came to crack cocaine. Okay. He's like, well, what? they're not mine. Well, I have to arrest you. A guy opened his door and found a package of it. Mm-hmm. He got arrested and sent to jail. What? Under the Rockefeller drug laws. It's bullshit. Yeah. Now he's a statistic. Huh. Alright. Continue. Oh, sure. uh, and even, you know, once once they police you where they put you back into slavery. You know, it's really at this point it's just tragic. Like this is it's not even worth talking to someone like this. If their premise is criminals being sent to... Actually, he's right on your level, your skill level of, of argumentation. It's pathetic. He's right up your alley, man. They're both uh, amazing. Yeah. Wait, really? Dave, uh, just You can just hear the pain in his voice. That's why I like Kurt Cobain. He's, you're, he's a... Man, this, dude, this dude's a poser. <laughs> he looks like a butt. <laughs> the prison this is, is slavery. Superhero. This is the woke equivalent of speaking in tongues. This is gibberish. Uh-huh. Um, that cycle is just... It's, it's apparent, but we it's disguised by so many different things and so much rhetoric and propaganda. Did he say propaganda as opposed to impropaganda? It's disguised by so many different things and so much rhetoric and propaganda that we get lost in the idea of like, this is what they always thought of us and this is how they were always classified. Absolutely. <laughs> they, I wonder who the they was there. The faculty at Howard? No, whites? Are you talking about whites? This is how they clap. See, it's like they're both like a match made in heaven. Like, oh, you both need each other. Just realize how stupid you guys are. Yeah. And if you look at it in a real, in my opinion, a realistic way, mm. neither one of these guys' arguments would be left standing unless they had each other there. Yeah, I know. They're, you know. It's like. They're you're both hanging on a ledge and they're both hanging on to something sure. at the same time. It's like to One, elevate. Uh, to elevate, like, as far as social justice wars are concerned, you know, to elevate, you know, this guy over here, Ben, he needs them to elevate himself up. It's like, see, I'm intelligent. Blah, see, I'm smart. I, I, I debate people all day long. It's like, ah, you needed those jobbers over there, huh? Yeah. It's like, see, guys, you gotta make them look strong. All right. Irish whip, big boot, pin. That's it. <laughs> if you have strategies to win a debate, Rather than strategies to get a point across, you're lost on me. Yeah. All right. Classify us as property? Uh, no, Nick. Let me just shoot that one down for you. Nobody thinks of you as property. We think of you as three fifths. No, I'm kidding. We think of you as regular people trying to live their lives. There's and we. good luck to you. There's we. Yeah. He does I that wonder shit a what lot. you're talking about. Fuck you mean by that? We. You mean, you mean white the people? Yeah. Do you mean the U.S. government? They don't care about you, man. How about the guys who own the prisons? Oh, my bad. He, Are they looking at them as property? This dude's probably some other country. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like they only think of you as a criminal <laughs> if you're a criminal. We're aware of the stats. 
Nobody likes criminals. Here's a real interesting one. Go talk to some, I don't know, middle-aged, older black people. Ask them what they think of the criminal nature of the youth. You think that it'd be like, yeah, well, I don't really blame the criminals. I blame the prisons. I blame slavery. Do you think this shit flies in barbershops? It can't. And neither would that turban. Oh, yes, it, you, you have a... Huh? I saw the white guy. Uh, anyway, sorry. What? What part of the band? Oh. It's, one of, it's one of his movies. Oh. Okay. He uses quiet, like, racial tropes in order to entertain fans. Like, see, I'm not scared to say it. Yeah. Barbershops. It's like, say, 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 his name is... Uh, Nick Cannon? That's Nick Cannon right there. Yeah. The actor? Yeah. The actor, rapper. What movie did he play? Oh, I don't know. mind. Yeah, drumline. Uh, Love don't cost a thing. Yeah. <laughs> For, uh, who the fuck we see that? How come I didn't watch all it? that? All that. Yeah. Were they not popular films? Hey, that dude's super rich. Huh. For sure, he's super. Well, relatively super rich. Oh, now he's wild and out. That's like, dude. They, you're out. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, continuing. Whole lot of. Info in that <laughs> session, but I see you've been listening. I've been listening. You've been listening. <laughs> He's been soaking up that propaganda. Now I'm in class. Like, okay, okay. Because sometimes you're a little quiet. You yeah, know, it don't so. fall on deaf ears. I'm taking it all in. Okay, okay. Yeah, sociology, criminology is a tough thing. You know, a lot of individuals feel like they just want to hide criminology under sociology, under this discipline where it's about understanding words and understanding rhetoric. <laughs> oh, man. Understanding words? Like the way you just butchered the definition of criminology like that? And understanding why... It's a metaphor, asshole. I just wanted to say that. I mean, the point is to understand what people are saying. If you're just going to do that, then what's the point? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's purposely like, not going to try to hear your point. It's like, guys, we have to... You're like, wrong no matter yeah, what. It's like, why are there poor people? We have to stop it. And then he's like... <laughs> Look at your shoes. <laughs> wow. Come on. That's Good like... Stuff. At least I can go to a barbershop, dude. The language that you use bothers, where criminology is a little bit more vicious, you know? Yeah. But under the umbrella of sociology, it's kind of like, oh, okay, it kind of gets that kind of non-listening ear. Right. When in fact, when you start looking at the questions behind a lot of those theories in criminology, yeah. strain theory, why is crime concentrated in the lower class? Bro, why are you not looking at any other classes? Like, <laughs> oh God, she just said a whole bag full of nothing. Why is crime located in the lower classes? Let's watch him leap over this. <laughs> yeah. Hey dude, there's white collar, cl uh, white, uh, Let's hear him explain this one. This will be beautiful. I don't know. I guess they're more desperate. They have no class. Like, they have nothing to lose. They don't give a fuck. They don't have role models. They, I don't know. They want more money. They're more gangsters down there. Like, I, I like how she's about to make a false equivalence talking about, what about all that white collar crime? You know, there was some insider trading. Rich people commit crimes too. Incredible point. Right. Why do we start there? Right. Then when you look a little bit deeper and dig, you know, between and, and pull back the layers of the onion. You start crime? It's kind of like this concept where, where's white collar criminals? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, white collar criminals are being arrested for white collar crimes. And what is this? Two wrongs make a who cares? Yeah, you got rape, you got robbery, you got assault, you got murder, and yeah, you got tax evasion. And? Just completely... And you got, and you got plagiarism for that uh, athlete's body you stole. You know? <laughs> Reebok. Uh, he did? He pastes a kangaroo face over some athlete's body. It's just, oh. It's just funny. It's like... <laughs> See, here's the thing. By this logic from the kangaroo, mm -hmm. if you murder someone mm -hmm. and get away with it, you clean all the fingerprints up, you get rid of all the DNA, all that shit, mm -hmm. it's like, you're not a criminal then. No, because you're not a part of the statistics. Huh. Well, you get caught? I'm saying, what are crimes based? What are laws based on? Are Morals. they not based on moral grounds? Yeah, yeah. So he's saying, so if you take someone who, let's say, a businessman, that can go to a, a congressman or something and say, listen, I need some favor to get this. I want this type of bill passed. This will make all my normally criminal activity. It'll make it legal. I need you to do that for me. Now, on the books, that's not a crime. It does not count as a crime. But what are crimes supposed to be about? 
stopping immoral action. Yeah. So that's why there's a lot of immoral activity in probably all the countries that no one sees or talks about because in, in their little books, in their little whatever constitutions or whatever, it says that this is legal or this is okay. Like lobbyists, see? They're here. The president can go to a war on baseless grounds and kill millions of people and it's not illegal. Thus, oh, it's not can, a crime. There's no crime here. Away with it. There's no crime against humanity here. It's That's all good. messed up. And he gets away with it. Yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, Assad used chemical attacks on his own people. How? He did. How? Well, <laughs> we'll let you know. But first, we're going to fire missiles. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, the kangaroo, once again, has no clue what the fuck he's talking about. And yeah. I see why he hides. Omitted from the data that's collected from the yes. statistics. And that's, that's... Also, that point right there, that maybe... They are getting caught. So there are people getting caught with crimes. They just don't report on it because it's no big deal. It's, it's just uh, bank fraud, right? Or something like That's that. That's fucking huge. Hmm. Hey, hey, like, hey, I would ask guy. Hey, dude, remember 2008? Remember that? What's up with that? Yeah. Remember that? All that shit that happened? And all the things <laughs> that led up to it. Yeah. It's just it. Well, it's set up for that, you know. Man. It's like when Cor- that Corbett's video about the, uh, the depression. Yeah. What led to that specifically? A series of events that specifically le- uh, led to that. Yeah. The crash. It's like, oh, it was, good. it was planned. And they're they're gonna bring up Bernie Madoff, and it's like, so they caught one guy during that whole that fucking dude was thing. A scapegoat. One guy got caught. It's like, oh, he's Let's the guy. See. Look, look what he did. One guy was responsible for so much of that shit. Sacrificial lamb. That's like, what he was. Clearly, they were doing things that are legal on mm-hmm. the books, but. People could step back and be like, okay, that's immoral. Yeah. I'm betting on you to lose your house. That's yeah. what they were doing. Yeah. They were making a bet. They were gambling and saying, I bet this, this person's going to lose their house. Mm. And they were mm. winning money off of that. You have extra water? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yep. All right, continue. Yeah. Those, Those are the are biggest, biggest criminals when you look, about, look, look at, at the, the amount of money, money they're creating. Create. No, they're not. They're not the biggest criminals. They may cause the most external, social, egotistical damage, but a criminal a criminal act is a criminal act. Straight up. Yeah. Immorality is immorality. Straight up. It's like, I don't like to measure. It's like, well, you killed two. Well, he killed 10 million. Like, ah, you're both assholes. How about that? Yeah, you're both, yeah. both murderers. So. Two wrongs don't make a right. In the amount of lives that are lost, like because nobody gives a fuck about white collar crimes. It's white collar. It's clean. It's pretty. It's organized. It's like organized crime. I mean, Jesus, you want to get technical? Like the president of the United States is a fucking white collar criminal. But what does that matter? It doesn't affect people. It's not visceral. It's just the rich getting richer. It's not vicious. It's victimless in many ways. Well, there's probably victims, but whatever. I'll edit that out. We get so delusional. Holy shit. I hope he's joking when he says that. He has to be joking. He has to be, right? I hope it's, he's joking. That's common knowledge. He said, like, he said victimless. You sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, dude, there's this bus in it was a Yemen, right? Let's we'll talk about that. I can I keep going. going. Yeah. He said victimless crimes. I'm like, dude, you, you're... The I, I hope he's joking when he says that. <laughs> he better, or I'll, or I'll really just... Let's find I'll out. Keep poking. Let's find out. When you jump into the worlds of big pharma, fuck, I didn't edit it out. We get when you jump into the worlds of big pharma, big pharma be killing people. What's happening? Huh? Uh, uh, Walsh. Address that point, man. Fucking address that point. Big pharma. <laughs> yeah, you didn't put enough. You said big pharma be killing. It's like, oh, see, I told you, so your your English is absolutely mediocre. Ha uh-huh. I win again. Georgia win counter. <laughs> it's like, it's not, it doesn't work like that. I mean, that works if you're like two, which you probably are. What was the company that accidentally released a contaminated like aspirin? Bayer, I think yeah, it was. Yeah, had HIV or whatever. Yeah, the fuck, AIDS. They're like, we can't release this in the United States. Yeah, so they fucking Let's put it sh- out. Yeah. They normally put it out somewhere. Let's some other ship country. it to some poor people. Yeah, some third world or whatever the fuck, and they all well, not all, well, a bunch of them got AIDS and they knew about it. Hmm. Well, there's evidence to, to support the theory that they had prior knowledge to this. Yeah. So it's like, wow, fuck you guys. Not only that, Johnson and Johnson. 
Uh, as, as a company? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I forgot the story, but... What did they do? They, uh... They were contaminated, too, as well. They, can, yeah, they, like they had some shit that fucking made kids sick, whatever the fuck. It's, it, yeah, something, something in a baby product, I think. Yeah. Baby powder, maybe baby wipes. Whatever. <laughs> the point is, a lot of these companies are looking to... Oh, opioids. Yeah, opioids. A lot of these companies are looking to reach their bottom line for each quarter, right? Yeah, they'll do whatever they can. It's a business. They'll influence doctors to prescribe certain things. Yeah. Listen, I can't prescribe this, but if we change the, some of the components with it, we can give it a new name. You can prescribe it now. Yeah. And normal people, like these two guys might be, as far as like their understanding of the world, they might look at that and say, oh, that must be a crime. They're just not, they're just not uh, you know, reporting it. And they're not arresting these guys for that. But no, on the books, it's legal. It, it, it is legal. So that's why it's like normal people are just like, shouldn't that be a crime? Mm. But like, no. It's some statute somewhere, it's legal. And these guys have the lawyers to Back it up. invoke those laws. Yeah. Anyways. Street. Oh, well, that was a big word. Wall Street. Yeah, man. Snap on that. Hold on. Go ahead. You go, girl. I'm oh, sorry, Nick. You do it, Nick. Wall Street. Big Pharma. What else is he going with? Uh, PewDiePie. I mean, you know what I'm saying. This dude wouldn't last on a podium. <laughs> he has no argument. No. He has, he has this is, zero this argument. Is filler. It's absolute filler. Yeah. This is, this is straight up like, okay, dude, you're, you're, you're humorous crew. It's... It's silly. You have no content. Yeah, like what crowd? Have, what crowd is he trying to get get across? He's trying to be. Maybe. He's trying to be provocative because he is, he lacks any argument really. He's, he's, so what happens yeah. is, hold on. So what happens is, like if that dude's ever in a public format, which he probably will never do it, you know, because he needs this little like uh, sanctuary he has where his fans will go. We love you. Stroke, stroke your dick all day long. He'll never do it. Yeah. And if he does, he'll be in in, in, in a circle of his own. Which is what uh, Sam Harris does with um, like Shapiro or at times Peterson, where it's just it's a yeah. circle, a close knit circle. Like you'll never you'll never debate this uh, philosopher over here. I don't think he has a team. He has fans. But I don't think he's well networked to have uh, like a team. I mean, I meant as far as a, a group of people that are somewhat associated with. Okay, there's these guys over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like him and him and, and Taylor, they would just talk and shit. I think this guy's South Park without a soul. It's just empty. I was thinking that too. Just empty shit. South Park. Empty rhetoric. There's no heart there. It's just entertainment value. How do I make a buck off of these people? Mm. That's what it seems like. He charges people to watch this video? No, he sells them shit. Probably sells them t-shirts. <coughs> Go to my PayPal and donate money. And do this mm. and that. Some of my subscribers also, yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Certain amount of subscribers can help you get money from YouTube as well. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, continue. That's right. <laughs> banking, all of that stuff. Yeah, banking, banking, be killing dudes. These people, even when they get sentenced, they serve in real sentences. Yeah. Them, them federal crimes, yeah. them cats, them Bernie Madoffs. And... Yeah. So wait, didn't you just refute your point? Bernie Madoff went to jail. I you know, took students to live in a facility. Yeah. yeah. You know, Martha Stewart was incarcerated. <laughs> right. Benny Shakur, Billie Holiday. Yeah. You know, white collar criminals so that the students could see yeah. everything ain't taking you back to slavery because they were not enslaved there. They right. had rules and regulations. Let's not get it wrong. Yeah. Um, they was living. Yeah. They what in the hell are you talking about? You're telling me that Bernie Madoff is in a resort and Martha Stewart was loving life in jail? There are different kinds. Leaps in logic. The drug test, or the drug, uh, the, drug test. the guy who helped Barry Bonds. Uh, Victor Conte. Victor Conte. Legend. Right? His stories about being in jail. Mm. It was like, it's like a resort for me. It's like, that was white collar crime. I don't know. And that was like drugs and shit like that. Yeah. You should have, yeah. if you look at it, probably could have got a way worse sentence. You become like Mike, a lawyer. Mike Tyson talking about jail. See, no, no one messed with me. Yeah. <clears throat> That's different. I'm just saying. It's like and he's probably in a, like a minimum security yeah. type thing. There's like weights and shit everywhere for him. <laughs> TV. <laughs> All right.
kinds of prisons. And yes, there are less restrictive ones, ones where there's a bunch of privileges given to the prisoners. Shit, you should go to prison in Norway. It's like a summer camp. But this applies to all people. So, you know, trust me, they're going to get back to the black angle on this. But they absolutely have... I just want to say, like, wow, well, uh, you know, nothing really, li no nothing really to, to give. So you have to show like uh, girls on uh, on stripper poles. <laughs> it means you're you're a candy wrapper, man. He's a feller extraordinary. Yeah. He's soft. <laughs> Of no plan. They will live in. They have flowers. <laughs> Better than some of us. Yeah, no cages. Yeah. Nick, Nick, Nick. Do not make me look up your net worth. I'm doing it. Don't Nick Cannon has a net worth of fifty million dollars. <laughs> and he's what? What was that? Some of those prisoners they live in better than us. Back pocket. What? What? Because they have Wi-Fi privileges on the weekends? I don't think so, Nick. I like how he's trying to play like I'm just one of the people, just a college freshman at Howard University. Just a poor, struggling student looking to get my black chillers degree in fucking blackness. No hey. locking, no. I, I have to be provocative because I have no argument. Like, that dude. was actually probably his best argument he's had. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, you're rich. So what is provocative? What, uh, provocative. What does that mean? Assertive? Not necessarily. I mean, it's basically. Flashy, you get a reaction type of thing. Yeah. Like, if I, if I walk out uh, in public with a bra on mm. and a G string. Yeah. And a G string. It looked good, but still, you know, provocative. No it it'll look. No one's called trolling. Yeah. Well, whatever. Keys. It was more dormitory style. They're looking at COs in the face. They have a doggy program. They're able to have wait, wait, students. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> they got a doggy program. It's a program prison. where they, you know, they train. Wow. They tra I think it's more like they were getting done doggy style in the showers. That's oh. not the doggy program. It's that ain't no doggy program you want to be a part of, unless you're into that. Not that there's anything right with that. They train the animals, and they're allowed to live with them, and they yeah. build relationships and talk about being able to be rehabilitated. Yeah, come to think of it, what were those dogs doing in prison anyway? Those dogs don't have no rights. Those dogs be slaves as well, Jeez. especially the black lads. Yeah. You know? And that's really the process. No argument. Yeah, he's not even funny, to be honest with you. No, he's just trying too hard. It's like, dude, I'm smarter than you. I'm funnier than you. <laughs> I probably beat the shit out of you. It's like, fuck. You're worthless, man. Provocative. See? <laughs> I can do it too. I was about to go. It's my time to show you. <laughs> <laughs> back, like, the or the, the purpose of these type of facilities uh, is to be able to be reinstated into society better than you were before you went in. Absolutely. Mm, no. You're missing. That's a point I like. You should be better leaving than you, than you were when you went in. Yeah, it should be a true rehabilitation yeah. place. Yeah. Not, okay, listen, um, I'm going to scream at you really loud. <laughs> and uh, you're going to go to all your possessions. You know? And also, uh, you're going to wake up at this time, you're going to eat at this time, <laughs> and so on and so forth. And then we're going to make a little bit of money off of you. So. It should honestly provide a different arena of living. Almost like the one they're talking about, the federal prisons, how it's like a resort almost. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what it should be. Mm -hmm. To where guys are like, Twitter are like, you don't have to leave if you don't want to. You can stay here if you want. Yeah. Like that At the same time, though, it's like, you know, you being there, it's like profitable. Yeah. So well, that's why it's like, does this benefit you in any type of way if, like, amount, if there's, a, amount of, if there's a, uh, a certain amount of people within the, within the prison, the privately owned prisons? Yeah. But the thing is, the conditions they're releasing them out into are worse than in the prison, yeah. as Dan was saying. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So it's like, you know, I don't know. It wouldn't be like it'd be like. So you let all these people outside of prison struggle, but you let it, you help us out in here. That's kind of weird. It's like, all right, let's go kill George. I never liked him. <laughs> <laughs> Get a nice deal. But you know. In a perfect world, it'd be like a resort type of thing. I'm tired of the dollar menu, man. I'm tired of it. Well, there wouldn't be really prison, but... Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Continue. It's in quite a large chunk of it. The purpose is to evacuate those people from society and punish them. And once in jail, yes, then we talk about rehab. But the point of prison, it's not a self-improvement course. Let's keep it... 
The punishment is going to be uh, the individual doing it. Yeah. That's it. Well, you have to put like, in a way it's like self punishment in order to become the individual. That's what it's like, basically. Like, I don't know, do I say something? But then it's like, you won't understand it. Mm. But I'll run right back to whatever the world already is. That's the way it is. Yeah. Like, you understand people are creating this? Yeah. So, so. So, yeah who built those prisons? Who, who built the laws? Yeah. Right? It's my bad. You know, who, who, who built a foundation for society to have these laws that are based off of basic morals? It says, don't, like, you know, don't steal. Why? Uh, because it says, it's okay. <laughs> it's like, yeah, oh, part of the commandment. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, why, why are prisons meant to punish people? Because prisons are meant to put, uh, punish people. That's why that's the rebels why. are important. It's like, that's why. It's like, that's well, why. I'm, not, I'm not doing that, man. I'm not a conformist, man. It's like, yeah. It's like, fake it till you make it, man. Take it. Take it. All the way 100. Yeah, when you messing with federal dollars, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to fix you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're messing with state money, state money. I'm just not going to give you no program and I'm going to throw you back out. I'm not yeah. going to deal with your drug issues. I'm going to hold you in this kennel. Exactly. And then if I can make some money off you, I'm going to really do that as well. And that's slavery. So, <laughs> Right. Because, you know, the prisoners be picking cotton. Uh, yeah. Earning money in prison. First of all, I think some of them get paid. And not just that, it's voluntary, which is huge. And also, they get privileges. It looks good if they're trying to get up for parole, the fact that they worked in prison. They could go outside. <laughs> Within a gate. Another dumb, <laughs> poor argument. They get, to, they get to lift weights. <laughs> they get to wear clothes. Privileges. Listen, wow. we're going to allow you to go outside. Okay? I, if, if I knew he, he was going to make the points about prison being like that, like, ten minutes ago, I wouldn't have brought it up. Because <laughs> he, like... Literally, yeah, he's trying to. That's his. That's his whole argument. It's for everything. If you play off people's survival <clears throat> instincts, of course they're gonna react a certain way. If you say you can get less time in prison, you're gonna go get the job. But She's, it's not like oh, I'm gonna better myself and get this job. It's like, no. Nah. It's, like, yeah. huh. it's funny because like he really, he really doesn't have an argument. All he does is just either like make an art, make a counter argument, which is also like pretty weak itself, and then. Filler with uh, just weak jokes. I think yeah. it's like a. You see a pattern. He's kind of like in a circle. He's an idiot. He's kind. Of, <laughs> but if, like, you, if you look at his videos, this is all he does. This is it. Yeah. yeah. And then it's, he like, actually, it's like a, he's got a scapegoat. Or when, something that's. When he actually decent. does. When he actually does the base of people, he gets exposed really badly. Damn. Yeah. But he has a cluster of people that actively view his content. <laughs> and I bet the response is, "Well, he's funny." And they go somewhere else to actually hear information. Unless it's like, you know, college kids crying about something. Yeah. Probably a small college, though, not a big one. Even big colleges. Yeah. Kids complaining about simple stuff, that's when he'll, he'll you know, come out from behind the bushes. Like, yeah. White power. I can, I can argue with you. Do you think he'll be like, white power? And then, like, kick nah. him in the He's a guy that will probably he'd, he'd believes that. He'd do it for, provo yeah. for being provocative. Or he believes that. That's the word tonight. That should be that. the name of the video. Pro provocative. That's true. You already named it. Damn it. This is a guy that probably believes in the whole race and genetics thing because he's a he's a fool. Yeah. Tool or fool? He's a, he's both. <laughs> <laughs> All right, continue. Gotcha. Looks real good. That's gonna go a huge way to uh, good behavior. Like O.J. Simpson, when he was in jail, he was coaching basketball. He was cleaning uh, locker rooms. And you bet your ass he talked about that during the parole hearing. I listened to it. So based on all of that, um, Mr. Simpson, I do vote to grant parole when eligible. And that will conclude this hearing. Thank you. Thank you. Applause. Fucking got applause. Not unlike one we saw. See? And I always make that strong statement, and, and I'm going to say it again today. I think they should do away with all prisons. Nick Cannon, 2018, do away with all prisons. The man is a genius. Uh, and when I say that, people always say, well, then what's your solution for criminals? Or what's your solution uh, to deal with people who need to be incarcerated? You gave a strong answer to that. Education. Education. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Education. Oh, right, so these super predator-type dudes coming in there with just up to no good. 
utter menaces to society, career criminals. Everyone knows the guys we're talking about. You're going to just educate? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? He really has no, no dude, imagination. He really is a no, simpleton. No empathy, no understanding of and He's a of basic, much. He has a basic level of understanding. I think he has a stereotypical understanding of what a prisoner is and just runs with that. Yeah, he just want to look further. Con- he doesn't consider a guy who did a non-violent drug crime going to jail for five years, getting out, can't get a job, goes back to drug dealing, gets sentenced again. That's like two strikes or whatever, whatever other petty crimes, and it's like fuck, you're in here for most of your life now. I don't think he's got like a small circle. He doesn't really talk to many people. I mean, how many like just savage murderers are there? Not many. The like super maximum prisons for like violent, violent guys. There's yeah. not you know hundred thousand people just chilling in there. Can you imagine all those fucking murders just hanging around each other? They'd wipe Killers each other are, out. Yeah. Doesn't know I'm uh, behind him right now. How can I do this? <laughs> I'll wait a month. It's too soon. <laughs> I must see if he knows how to fight. Right? So it's like... I don't know. He probably gets his opinions from other guys that he uh, holds near and dear. TV. No, Watching not, not TV. Just, not just TV. He, saw, he sucks... Uh, what's his name? Dawkins? Richard Dawkins? Yeah, he probably rides his dick. The evolutionary guy? Yeah. He wouldn't agree with him. He saw that fucking... He'd be like, I don't want anything to do with that guy. He has a picture of him on his fucking... Oh, Hitchens? My bad. Hitchens. 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 Probably the same thing. Like, I want nothing to do with the kangaroo guy. And yet... Kurt Cobain? I don't want nothing to do with him. And yet... Tupac? No. no. He <laughs> likes Tupac? You know, he had a shirt. You know, the cartoon shirt oh, with his face on it. Uh, Whatever. Continue. I can tell you Kurt Cobain would go. Just... <laughs> Literally listen to my music, dude. Sure walks away. It's like, no, Kurt, no, no, no. Uh, Dan, please put a lid on that thing. In case you kick it over the water. There's like electric <laughs> shit all over the room. Yeah, it almost happened. I don't know, it was empty. <laughs> I thought there was water in it. I'm like, dude, now look at that fucking phone. <laughs> And lawsuit. Alright, continue. Who's gonna. Uh, it, sounds it sounds like Anna Kaspari. You know how we can solve radical, radical Islam? Islam? Drop, Drop education on them. them. What the hell are you talking about? First of all. Uh, maybe not bomb them and then educate them that <laughs> we're not here to bomb you. That might help. Yeah. But no, they're just innately violent people. Because someone else told me their book says bad stuff. I don't read it myself, I just. Look for other people to say. If you did, yeah. I, I watch Steven Crowder videos, and he tells me that they're doing that. He, he gives me. He, get, he tells me how to argue. What to think? <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Capitalism is the best. This guy will never respond to us. Hmm? No. This guy will. Oh, never are we trying to get him to respond? you will never respond. Well, it's not. It's not in the sense I'm trying to get this guy to respond because he probably <clears> won't. It's just m- merely. Uh, oh, anybody that says anything like this is gonna get. A, Guess nice for, video be made for them. I guess if we're trying to get them to respond, I got some other stuff to say. Uh, nah, we don't want to be a fucking troll. <laughs> do we Do we get anybody Just, else to respond? To other if he does respond, after every one of my responses, I will say, amazing. Just to remind him of, give him a flashback. I already tweeted at him. Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't know you used Twitter. I used uh, the, uh, Twitter for the channel. Nice. Yeah, I can expect as much for someone who lost in a debate with uh, Jesse Lee Peterson, so... Ooh. Did you write amazing at the end? Yeah. Alright, <laughs> right, continue. You're amazing. Well, they already failed at education. Why do you think they're dropping out of school, not going to school, not giving a fuck about school? Who do you think instills that in them? It's too late. The time that they're teenagers, late teens, early 20s, you, you gotta start that stuff early. You can see the writing on the walls in elementary school with these guys. Have you guys seen Scared Straight? One of the best programs ever. You think you're just going to walk in and educate dudes like this? Here, let me show you this guy. Here's a guy. Beyond Scared Straight. It's a television show. Yeah. Oh. 
does 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 Devin get his information from the telly only? <laughs> oh. Is he reading a newspaper article? Give me a fucking break. He's uh Have you has he ever heard of people in their thirties, forties, fifties going back to college or figuring shit out for the first time? Like, Not even that, it's called, it's called having an epiphany. Yeah. God. He did, he is a nerdy. He has no uh he probably has a very poor moral, uh or a lack of a moral compass he doesn't understand. Has he like heard, any existential has ideas. he never met like people in a cult or like a Jew you know, like a religion, all of a sudden they're just like, Alright, I don't believe in this anymore. And I'm, yeah. now I'm gonna all oh, this epiphany you said, right? Like, oh all this new stuff, this other religion or blah blah. Like or, yeah, reform yeah. prisoners. Like there's tons of those guys that are counselors that are like this is where I screwed up in life. And they try to tell kids not to do what they did. Or like I drug addicts like, or like alcoholics. Drug addicts. Like, oh, All I've turned it. to working out. And now I'm not an alcoholic anymore. Blah, blah, blah. And then they go to like classes and college and stuff. Come on. It's, it's redemption. Yeah. This guy. This guy doesn't believe in redemption. He believes in yeah. telly. Uh, he's, he's a silly guy. And he's going to play some, I guess, from the TV show. We'll watch like seconds of it and turn it off. <laughs> I want to see. Uh, <laughs> he's too far into. Oh, it is? All right. Wait, like that one guy like has like three sentences from. Uh, te- what was the guy? He like dramatically looked left and dramatically looked right, and the camera was like on him. Uh, oh. I keep going back to that video. You mean a uh, wannabe Bill Nye? Yeah, like he uses like specific quotes. Oh, we skip it. Sorry, he, he, that dude's a dumb fuck. Who is that? <laughs> We're gonna play Shank, Shank, Shank you. Yeah, we're gonna play a clip of uh, our favorite Santa child Claus. prisoner. <laughs> we give you George. He's fearless. Life instantly. You don't think she's pregnancy bait like tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> You better stay where you're at until you're told otherwise. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Where do you think you're at right now? Jim. You like it? No, sir. Why you don't like it here? You don't like us? No, sir. Why not? We're good guys, aren't we? I don't know. Come on, have a seat. Have a seat. How you doing? I'm Deputy Carr. What's your name? George. George. We buddies, all right? <laughs> yes, sir. Where you at? Jail, sir. You in the darkest kind of jail? Get out! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, why why's Rob Perlman here? That's a new one. Oh, but yeah, that's hilarious. It's like he knew what was going on. It's like you guys, you guys aren't gonna touch me. Yeah, and it's I like know this is like a reformatory program. <laughs> Come on. And how does how is this added in no, to reality for it's... the for the kangaroo? I don't get it. Lack of an argument, you need something. You need These like kids it. won't listen. You can yell and scream at like they understand the game you're playing with them. They know you're like, I don't know, trying to scare them into doing something. Yeah. They're not dumb. There's the reason George is laughing the entire time. Yeah, I've done that before. Wait, that was his real name? I thought he was fucking allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. All right, so that's enough of the fucking. Oh, we're done with marsupial. Yeah. To be Kenny, good comments. Alright, let's see the timestamp. 13. Alright, for our second and last topic Gavin McInnes will be in a debate in this video. A debate. Because I think he struggles at it as well as the, just like the kangaroo does. You mean the the wannabe punk rock guy? Yeah, the wannabe American punk rock Canadian guy. Mm. Hmm. He's hiding his chin. <laughs> what do you what what do you Austin call him? I don't fucking know. Turtle chin. That's it. <laughs> Turtle chin. It's like. He's going to be debating Ghazi Kadzo, a.k.a. Black Hitler. Jeez. That is a name he picked up over, uh, over a period of time where he mm-hmm. 
express his content, which sound dumb as fuck. And we're here to point that out. Well, in live color. Yeah, both sides of it. But he might actually have some points. You're telling me Gavin McInnes is going to debate him. Yeah. He will do it. He put his name on it. Okay. So. All right, let's watch this. Run through a motherfucker face. Uh, hello? Hi. Hi. Agazio, are you there? I'm here. Yes. Hold on, I'm Facebook Live. Got him. What's up, Gazi Aquava, y'all? Uh -huh. If you want this interview to continue, you can't say uh -huh. Oh. Okay, can I push a button that says it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, okay. We'll play by your rules. Um, okay, let's start it off. Uh, do you want to start with a question, or, or can Matt start with a question? What would you be most comfortable with? I don't know. Who, who are you? I mean, which one's Matt? <laughs> this is Matt above me. Matt's in, wearing the little boy's shirt that that uh, a four-year-old would wear. You always have to get... He's uh, Gavin's backup in case he fucks up or has no response. <laughs> oh. It seems that he, uh, he's like, listen, I'm going to debate you. Go get him. <laughs> All right. Something about my, what I'm wearing. Well, don't dress like a toddler then. I get a Proud Boy shirt next to him. <laughs> yeah. I, my name's Gavin. I'm the guy in the suit. I'm the moderator. Hopefully I don't say anything this whole time. And you are Gazi Kodzo. He's a moderator. I thought you are debating him. This, this video is false advertising. Yeah. But either way, I don't think he could actually debate. No. With many people. No. Maybe, once again, maybe college kids or like Antifa or something like yeah. that. You can say something if you want. Oh, thank oh. you. Okay, Matt, why don't you start asking Ghazi a simple question that, that can get us, you know, a, a big right. picture. I guess we'll start simple. Um, you know, is there any dollar value of reparations that, like, have you quantified it to a dollar value that you would want to be owed? Um, and how would it be paid out? Would it just be the U.S. government would collect taxes from primarily white people and pay it out? How would it work? Or would it be like a private kind of system you want people to opt into? A dollar amount? Yeah, do you think like you know the average black person's owed you know ten grand, twenty grand each? Is there anything like that? Well, studies show that it's for the labor itself. Mm -hmm. It's around fourteen trillion dollars. Okay, yeah, I think I've seen the study. That African people, stolen lives of African people have been given to build the United States government and to build the economy, the capitalist economy that you know of. But you're worth this. I, and as well as the party, understand that that amount is a drop in the puddle of what is owed to African people that has given our everything, we've forcefully given our everything. Real quick, uh, I don't even know if those numbers are correct. They're probably not. He's probably so. exaggerating to fill some void in his heart that might be missing. Yeah. Also, uh, Matt it wasn't... Not him personally, right? Why is Matt like Was he the guy in the mines of Africa mining the material? Was he the slave picking oh. cotton? Well, he could be like a soul. Remember that movie where there's like a soul that keeps coming each generation? Oh, soul Cloud Atlas. Atlas. Cloud Atlas. Soul yeah. Atlas. Oh, <laughs> That's a little more about reincarnation. I would say. So should we use our imagination right now? And okay. also, if you find out you have a soul, you wouldn't be asking for money, Barry. <laughs> That's true. Like, oh, wait, I live forever? Why do I need your $12? Or a million dollars? Or a billion dollars? This person's life is worth... Two pennies. Uh, 300000 Okay. I'll take the money. Mr. Krabs! So this is already starting off with a dumb guy versus dumb guy versus another dumb guy argument. And the guy in the middle is dumb. They're all dumb. Yeah, dumb, 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 dumb. <laughs> Not just labor. I mean, labor is one thing. But to give away our history, mm -hmm. to give away our language, to give away our connection to Africa, to disperse us, to rape us, to push us into privately owned prisons, mm -hmm. prisons, to build a prison industrial complex, to destroy African children through the school-to-prison pipeline, to murder African children on the street, 
to make African women feel inferior, to starve African children because of parasitic capitalism. The amount is the liberation mm -hmm. and determination of African people. And everything that you see on, um, anything you see of the- So this dude has uh, trouble like putting shit in a, into a concrete- uh... Yeah. I don't think he planned this. It was just like random. Well, I don't mind that. It's just you okay with it? Yeah, you still gotta have an idea of where you're going. I think eh, he's still not that off track. He's just using a lot no, of different he's words. Broad. He just has a lot of different words with it. But at the same time, it's like if uh, ships pulled into West Africa and they were like Middle Eastern looking, yeah, like then they would be the slaves, and you wouldn't say shit. Is this where Gavin is supposed to like help them together to understand constructive? No, uh, or is he just they're all team players. So uh, which basically means uh Well Gavin's just gonna question him but not the other guy. Yeah. So but I don't, do you think I don't know be, why he's moderating. Do you think it would be a better video if Gavin would try to like understand both of them and try to explain to both of them what they're trying to say? That would be probably. better for people watching who are interested in actual like real life. But if you're just a fan then oh, then you want you want the bias. Got it. You want Gavin to, I guess, flaunt his personality. It's basically two against one. Right yeah, now. that's why I figured. Essentially. The moderator is supposed to be unbiased. Yeah, he's not really a moderator. No, he's... No. He's like, I can't really debate you, so I got this guy. <laughs> yeah, you might throw out, like, a cheap question here or there. Like, it sounds like I'm questioning mm. my team guy. Yeah. But not really. You're setting him up. Is it's water a, wet, Matt? It's a... Comp it's a <laughs> Basically. Is the sky made out of green cheese? Oh, how is this? Uh, it's like an elevating question. It's like, okay, I mean, you use this question. It's pretty obvious. It's going to elevate your point. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Has been stolen from African and colonized people. I mean, from the people you call aboriginals in Australia to the people of South America. These people, these lands are poor because Europe is wealthy. So, yeah. That's All right. How about a mind if I jump in? Yeah, we got to keep the answers a little shorter. All right. It went. It went like. It went like I saw myself. Yeah, yeah, we see, all see each other. But, um, I mean, my argument was, I was going to start from talking about, I mean, usually people argue for reparations for slavery. I mean, obviously you and your movement take it to a different level with colonialism. Um, but to talk about slavery, we have a control group in that the North didn't have slavery, the South did. So in response to the argument that slavery built America, and obviously it contributed a great amount, um, in the, the North had something like 75% of all wealth prior to the Civil War, um, and obviously there was never a slave in the North. So only something like 5% of GDP was actually attributable to slavery. There was no slaves in the North. History? <laughs> New York City had slaves. The under, underneath, underneath. Now he's gonna go off into conspiracy type land, but rather than like you know what we, what we said in the previous uh, video, actual like oh slavery ended this year, James. It's like actually, yeah. did it really? What is what is what constitutes slavery? Mm. Yeah, what is it? Also, the central government is in Washington D.C. Yeah, right. right? Was yeah. it in D.C. at the time? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. The point is. <laughs> point is our main exports was southern grown things let's see how yes. corn peanut butter <laughs> Jane like you know like look into the, what happened as far as the, the, the events leading up to the civil war and why I like, don't secede don't do it yeah, <laughs> yeah. like listen if you'll be free add, like an added stipulation or whatever the fuck yeah you know? You guys can be free if you fight for it. It's like, so he wanted to free the slaves. I'm like, no, he didn't. Also, no, I, he didn't. Yeah. I mean, I'll look into that. I I'll bet there's something about Lincoln. way incorrect yeah. about what he well, just said. Which guy on the right? The right or left? The guy on the right. The guy on the left's going to say something I, I don't know about either. He's going to say some conspiracy, conspiracy yeah, probably, shit I've never heard. The guy on the right true. sounds like. He said a social studies answer. Yeah. That's there were no slaves in the North. Yeah, like eighth grade, like eighth grade, ninth grade in social study. Yeah. Well, I went to college. I got an A. 
Just like, just like Jamie. I know. See? So it's like, it's like huh? and look at what's his name? He's looking at look at my beard. My beard. This will get interesting later as we go. Oh, okay. What you call the stock market. There was slaves. There's bones of slaves that you can find. There's chains that you can find underneath that. You need to do Scaring real history and see that underneath Wall Street was African slaves, slavery. And no matter what part of white people or which white person didn't own a slave, they all benefited from slavery. Because I heard um, oh, this one here. Gavin. This, this Gavin. Whatever. You were saying that only 1% of white people or something owned yes, slaves. Yes, percent and a half. Well, but how many white people because contributed why? in so stealing the slaves, chaining the slaves, beating the slaves, like finding the slaves, making before. sure that the slaves wouldn't run away, and benefiting from slavery? So the ownership of the slave is not the only contradiction. Wasn't so that all Arabs and Jews and blacks? Were, weren't, weren't Arabs and Jews and blacks the ones selling the slaves? Didn't they create 10 million slaves out of nothing and sell them mostly to Brazil? We got like 388,000. It was like about 20 million total. Really? It was something, it's, it's okay. either between 10 and 20. It was a very high number compared to what we got. First, let's go to slave, black Africans selling oh. other African mm -hmm. slaves. The definition of slavery that white people had a slavery did not exist on the face of Africa. Raping, beating, taking the names of, separating of families, lynching, branding, forcefully raping, forcefully breeding did not happen in Africa. Oh, they were cool with their slaves. They like 3,000. Why, why did two million die just not even getting out of the continent then? Why they hope, this guy so sure. hope this guy knows that uh, like uh, groups of like, uh, like certainly uh, people from Africa like mm -hmm. sold the sold their own people. Oh yeah. Like, do you know that? Mm. But I think he the point he's making is that it was a different type of slavery. Well, I'm sla slavery, slavery. Yeah, yeah but it's one's shittiness like is shittiness. It's like okay. Yeah. So they, wife, they don't want to break down. Yeah, I know. So what, mom and kids. I'm just saying. Separating them. The point is, it's like well. Still. Yeah. So they're being naive because there's different types of slavery. They don't want to admit that the one type. They want to be like this slavery is better than that slavery, okay. instead of being like slavery is bad in general. Well, yeah. And they're like, here's the numbers that back it up. He's using it as a justification to talk about that this was worse slavery, so that he has a point about reparations or whatever. And those two are just yanks. <laughs> it's totally different thing on the continent of Africa. What you are talking about is other nations of people coming and also partaking in the destruction and slavery of Africa. But it's what you owe. And as a child, as a some little child that says, oh yeah, I hit Timmy, but guess what? They hit Timmy too. But guess what? You are benefiting right now from what you do. Yeah, I think it's the number of little boys that hit Timmy though. Well, the thing I wanted to bring up too. Focusing on one guy who hit Timmy once as opposed to the entire schoolyard. I did not, oh, exactly, the entire schoolyard you colonized. The entire schoolyard you colonized. The entire schoolyard you loot from. Everything you have, every material you have is connected to a colonized and oppressed nation. A Aren't these countries better off when they get colonized? Wasn't colonization nothing but an improvement for the third world? Yeah, there are cases when it's a fucking asshole. That's nowhere near true. No. Yeah. Uh, it can actually stunt development. And then stick your own label on it and say we did it. Yeah, yeah. Like That's the what Romans I mean. took took over in freaking Greece, Athens, all those armies, stuff like that. Yeah, and uh, like they stopped everybody else's culture and growth from their culture within, and they're just like, all right, you obey me and help my culture grow. Yeah. And if you want to get with the program, oh. you have to learn my culture. Yeah, but you have to work for it. Be my slave and be my army first. I always thought it was an excuse to like we're spread, we're spreading our, we're spreading our religion and culture. It's like nah, it's not like you just want to take over nations and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like, so yeah. So if you have somewhere like uh, Nigeria, I don't and, know anything about that. But go ahead. And they're creating, just like uh, medieval times in Europe and shit, mm -hmm. where they're creating you know works from metal and. Uh, such shit, welding and things like that, mm. creating weaponry, creating art, pottery, shit like that. Yeah. And they're about the same level, but one side gets guns and they move into Africa, then it's like, okay, 
we can wipe your whole shit out. Yeah. Then replace it and say, look, see, we're better. You're Boom. better off with us here. Boomsticks. You didn't have... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you didn't have this before, and now you have it. Yeah. Jeez. Nah. So, see, colonization call, call, is better. Hey, okay, okay, dude. Um, where do you live? Over here. Okay, we're going to go... I'm going to go colonize it. It's like, huh? Nah. <sighs> these, guys, these guys weren't, like, just living in huts and shit in these African nations. There was actual, like, medieval-style castles... Mm-hmm. Some were not exactly medieval style, but, you know, like, built with stone buildings and things like yeah. that. And then the poor people lived in huts, but that was the same thing in, like, yeah. Europe. Yeah. It's like, king lives in a giant castle, you yeah. all live in shit. Yeah. All, like, um... Or are we warm? Well, even in Egypt, mm-hmm. what's that? The... Fuck. The, they made statues out of... Uh, emperor? Pharaoh? No, Pharaoh. That's Pharaoh. Right. Pharaoh. Yeah, same thing there. Like, oh... You have to be of royal blood if you're gonna get anywhere in this world. Otherwise, you're slaves. Yeah. And then, and then if the royal blood mixes with a slave, like, oh, you've dishonored our family, then they'll kill the slave and the person that. Oh, stupid. Game of Thrones. Yes. <laughs> so you tainted the. Obviously not the like for the British <laughs> India. Yeah. Look at Haiti. They kick out all the whites. It becomes a hellhole. Zimbabwe. Look at Jamaica after 1969. Are they making uh, it? Up? Do you hear what? He's, he's making this shit up. Yeah, that's no, like debt-based uh, economic systems. Here's the problem. <laughs> like he's saying, he's saying this shit, and this guy's not like don't don't let him get away with that. Yeah, I know. Just lets it slide. <laughs> it's like he's like <laughs> looking for his reaction. He's looking for his reaction. Like well, they both know what they're doing. Yeah, all right. And he's supposed to be a moderator, not a not a jerk. I mean, I mean, someone comes be, over. He's supposed to be. Uh, Hey, wouldn't it be? Fu- I just thought of something. Wouldn't it be funny if like the person that's moderating is like Asian, and then like they're white and black, but then like then there's nothing. There's no way anything's unfair, right? Because they're like three no. different cultures. All right, fine, that don't work. He's, <laughs> he's supposed to be strictly unbiased. This is all about ideology. All right, all right. All right. Yeah. I mean, their races are all in this room right now. We're not. I'm not agreeing with any of them. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm a. I'm Italian. No, you're the point Italian. is, I'm like not even I'm half German. I'm not even half. I'm Italian. Nazi. <laughs> the kidding. point is <laughs> that countries can take over other countries, change shit around. Then when that when that country wants independence, and it's like, it's like, well, we live in a new world. You can't afford all this shit on your own. You better borrow some from us. Yeah. We'll help get you started. And trade. You're gonna have to pay us back later, it's though. It's interest, buddy. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. It the is. guy from Star Wars. Yeah, it's, it's like a scam. It's his name, Captain. Something. It is a trap. It is a scam. Like that was his only line South in that America. movie. It's a trap. And then he died. Yeah. It's like, listen, uh, you have no job. Listen, you gotta pay me back five dollars. Uh, okay, you're in one cent a day, but we're gonna add five dollars in interest. So. Exactly what they did to the blacks. You and your kids are. But. Exactly what they did to the blacks in in the South. Right after slavery. Mm. Right? You owe us money now. Now you have to do shit for us. Mm. If you don't do shit for us, then we can't do anything for you. <laughs> Continue. I wasn't here for that. Look at South Africa today. The, the less white people, the more dangerous it seems to be. It happened in um, Apartheid happened. Of white people, we tax on imperialism. Do you know that they cut off Haiti from doing trade with anyone, and that? Oh, so you didn't get enough handouts. Didn't get enough capitalism. I didn't give you enough shit after you kicked me out. They assassinated. <laughs> Kick who out? You take, God. you take Haiti. Yeah. And let's say they started at financially zero. Haiti. Oh boy. And you took, and they're like, okay, we have resources here. We can mm-hmm. sell them to the rest of the world. Yeah. If you start below zero, maybe even well below zero, now it's like, I have to use my resources to pay my debt. Yeah. Mm. Which means I'm giving away my resources for free. Yeah. Which means another country basically owns me right now. Yeah. And that, that happens today, straight, straight up. That happens today, it's, that happens uh, in the Middle uh, East. That, yeah, it is, that's exactly it. Yeah, that's right. Mm. <laughs> it makes me a little afraid to play baseball in other st- countries, though. I don't know, I'm not afraid to, I'll do it. No, I do no, I'll do it. It's just a matter of will it, will it let me play. I'll do it if you do it. <laughs> do it, Jordy. You want to? 
continuing. We could all play in Japan. Haitian leaders. Oh, good, they assassination Haitian leaders. They put Coachella virus in Haiti. They put HIV and AIDS in Haiti. Look. They have attacked Haiti. When the Haitian Conspiracy. earth... What was that? Conspiracy theory threw out there. HIV? But, see, these guys wouldn't sit down with like a legit, legit academic person. Yeah. I'd be like, you guys are dumb as fuck. They got, well, I'm not going to call him dumb. dumb. I mean, uh, well, I will. <laughs> call him dumb. <laughs> not dumb as in dumb and whole, just the idea. Look at that guy's face. I mean, oh, sorry. Uh, I'm only dealing with the ideas they're putting out now. Their ideas like, are basically a leaf in the wind. I can. When a opposing force just goes. Yeah. No chokers here. Yeah. It's a pebble in the ocean, dude. Quake happened. The Clintons stole billions of dollars from Haiti. Well, that's they that's true. Been yeah. given to. But that's like 100 years yeah. later. The Clintons? Yeah. No. Clinton? I mean, and now it is. Bill Clinton. Yes. But why is he skipping 100 years of generation to talk about Clinton? Because he's saying it's still sort of happening now. He just kind of jumped from one thing. Okay. It makes sense. All right, okay. There's a lot of... I say there's evidence to support that. Now they're like, yeah, we agree with that. It's like, you think they just did... Bill and Hillary Clinton just did that privately? They privately did that? Why is he laughing? Or did they have, you know... (laughs) Oh, I don't know. Because they don't like Clinton, and they brought her up in a bad thing. Oh, okay, gotcha. like, yeah, I agree with that now. Look, it's, it's like what? Watch it, watch it, watch it. It's like you agree with that part of history, but not this other yeah. part of history. It's know. a cutoff date for these guys. See, from the year 1900, 19, 1900, 1905, 1912. It's like what about those years in between, man? What are you talking about? <laughs> Can't you count? <laughs> oh, it's it's irrelevant. So yeah. Uh, the Clintons weren't just doing that just in such a private way. They had backing and help, I would think. The Haitian infrastructure. How did so you? How could you even tell after Haiti had an earthquake? It, before and after pictures look the same. Your argument is that yeah, liberated fine. African people yeah. will always fail because there's something innate in black people that will make us fail. Because that's that's your that's your argument, and it's not no, true. Of course not. not really. No, my argument is that white people are not better than... Wait. Go ahead. Well, I just wanted to say he'll sit next to Stefan Molyneux, mm-hmm. but not bring that point up. Yeah. It's just about free speech, that's all. Mm. That's what this whole spect- spectacle is about, just free speech. Mm. Anyway, we're just very good at systems. I don't know why. Everyone has a talent. Stop. Our talent wait, is... Wait, wait, wait. Sy- Our talent is systems? Yeah, he made that up. Okay, this is called collectivism at its finest, okay? It's called social studies level of education and running with it. Collectivism. Social studies. No, it's like it's a, yeah. an eighth grader's understanding of social studies. It's like, well, look at the systems. I'm looking and at... The people who made it happen to be white. Look we're at, just good at that. Look at what he's saying. He's, like, he's saying, he's saying, he's saying white people. He's saying we. So we're just good at systems. Like, what do you mean we? What the fuck does that mean? I know. Did you do that? <laughs> Nah, you're part. You're trying to be a part of this group, which you're already part of, by the way. You know, you're you're a team player at, at its finest. It's collectivism. Yeah. There's no any abstract thinking going on. Nothing, really. Just yeah. It's it, we're we're just good at systems. I don't think he understands. If he, this is the dumb part. Like I don't want to go here, but it's go the, there. The dumbness of sure. their argument of what they're implementing about themselves, about their race, right? Race of belief. Yeah. Leaf in the wind, which means, again, very easy to just push away his arguments, to move it around, versus an uh, immovable object. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, no amount of force can move it. So I don't, I don't think they realize the arg- The I'm trying to say he's an inauthentic, inauthentic. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. But I don't think he even realizes what's attached to that. He's like, why do you keep calling me a white nationalist? It's like... What you're saying implies this. Yeah. yeah. You're attaching this. Logically, you're attaching this idea to it. That's why people say that. You may not realize it because he's dumb as fuck. Yeah. But why nonetheless. Think, like, just like a step in mind. So why do you think people are calling you racist? Dude? Yeah. Because you say well, shit. Well, he's a little more out there. but Still. It's there. Same thing with uh, Muhammad Ali. Right? The video we watched. Yeah. It's like. You have no idea what ideas are now attached to you. Yeah. Now they are stuck with you on this issue yeah. right here. Yeah. Mm. When you say this thing. Bluebirds. Like, Bluebirds. These genetics just like these genetics. 
It's like, okay, now you got to accept the IQ, which means yeah. you're dumber, which means we shouldn't listen to you. And by the way, like everything else you've said prior, now you have to get rid of that. It's yeah. going to go your fans. Are you prepared for that? Yeah. Hmm. Give me your followers. Are, like you also just eliminated your religion right in front of our eyes. Yeah. You deleted your religion. You said there's no there's no individual, there's no identity, which means we're all robots. Okay. We have no choice, there's no free will. That's it. Yeah. It's terrible. And there's yeah. See how easy it is? That's easy. <laughs> okay? Yeah, it is. That, take give me five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. This guy won't last. Not even possible. That's why those commenters keep running away. Gotta, oh yeah, well uh, I'll tell my daddy. I'll tell my daddy, Jared Taylor, and, and, and just wait, wait till he gets a hold of you. <laughs> it's like, go ahead, tell him. Continue. I'm tired of like, it, that's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. Yeah. Tim's, we're good at roads and infrastructure, and you show your ticket here, and you get your pie over there. You didn't build those infrastructures, so you're oh, not yes. good at that. You're good at stealing and looting, and that's why you have a country that has only went 24 to 27 years without a war. Yeah, because you're good at stealing. He, he said you. Why did he say you? He's part of the United States, too, isn't he? He's, he's saying white people. He's grouping them. Oh, look at that face. He doesn't like white people. He's silly. He's a silly person. They're all yeah, silly. I'm just some guy. He right. isn't. <clears throat> just like that, he doesn't know what idea he's attaching himself to. To where his only argument left is to try and prove... That, that blacks are, are superior. That's his only argument he has left. Yeah. He'd have to try and prove that, which he won't and can't. Mm. Did these guys ever consider that it's like these small group of criminals doing these things? Like, who's running the government? Are we running the government? No. No. <laughs> right? <laughs> Relative to the population, it's a small group of people dictating, like, foreign policy and shit. Who knows? So when... <laughs> So when Bob's in his lazy boy drinking a beer, mm. he's not dictating, you know, foreign policy, or do we, or do we go take over this land? So it's this small group of, most likely corrupt in action individuals. No, they don't give a shit. It's 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 this. Uh, so I don't understand giving full credit to the entire white race. And I don't understand taking credit it's for all the white it's race. It's a facade of teams. Either one does not make it's sense. It's a facade of teams being propped up. With intentions, and then the dumb dumbs will. Oh, I, th- this is my team. I'll go play for them. And they don't. They don't get it. They don't get like behind the scenes. It's like, yeah, go ahead. Like I'm not no team. I'm not a team of me. <laughs> Keep going. It's like an inferiority complex. <laughs> Three ways around. Like, do you think? Uh, let's see. This dude's fucking Canadian. Who's his name? Gordon Gekko. On the left, Gecko, right? The yeah. moderator. Oh, he's fucking oh. Canadian. He, he passes off as an American guy. Yeah. It's like we. We started we, punk rock. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, you don't. You fucking poser. Uh, so like Gordon Gecko guy, right? Do you think that like like in public it was like we have to stick together? And you see him in his office, right? And he's fucking like just completely different. Dude's straight in that movie. Dude's a psychopath. He's a fucking Lex Luthor. Yeah. Or what Lex Luthor what? was supposed to be? No. Oh. Can wait till the till uh, the movie. I said, <laughs> you, did the, you did the pull your dick out sign. No, no, this <laughs> is the pull the dick. This is like, what is it? Okay, get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Continuing. Each and every war is of you stealing resources. No, you are not good at systems, sweetheart. You are good <laughs> at colonialism. You are- Actually, the Moors from Northern Africa rated like Spain and Italy or whatever. It seems like it's it's not more uh, it's not a race thing, it's just oh ignorant corrupt people do it's, stupid shit. Yeah. It's the loudest guy in the room with a bad idea. Yeah. Like, I can round people up together. Sure. Well, you remember the video my brother showed you? Uh, we going to let them eat poop. <laughs> yeah. Eat what? poop. Do I? Yeah. Yeah, I was talking uh, shit about Obama, like some like guy from like uh I don't know if it was South Africa. I don't remember. It's like, see, they want to eat poo poo. You want to let them eat poo poo? It's like, that's the loudest guy in the room talking right there. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah. 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 I, 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 I like poo poo. Yeah, that's right. Poo-poo. Yeah. You want to let Obama just try eating poo poo? It's like, fuck, man. Oh, God. Yeah. And it's, it's like, like Rogan talking to Brian Cowan. Like, oh. So you've been around too many people that let you get away with saying shit like that. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Like, we're, we're your real friends, dude. <laughs> Continuing. 
My resource is gold and diamonds? I don't understand the argument, though, that it was, let's say, slaves that built America. Like, we could just walk out on the street and look at any ten buildings and none of them. Well, the other problem with that whole argument, Gazzy, is after the Civil War, the balance sheet was zero. So you build up a restaurant and it burns to the ground and then someone rebuilds a new restaurant and you go, that's my restaurant, I built it. There is not really. There is a... Yeah, no, that's yeah, completely we, wrong. I don't think they all started at zero. No. Uh, so you spent years trying to, creating generations of people, first of all, breeding them. Also, uh, having them not be able to read and things like that. In a way, it's like you just... Yeah, you're uh, making them you took their families and separate them into different areas where they spent yeah, time. Yeah, like what you do to animals. Yeah, yeah. after yeah. slavery ended, they had to wander the country looking for the kids they lost or their the relatives, uh, or their wife or husband or whoever they lost. Yeah, yeah. there's tons of movies on that. Uh, well. Not only that, there's also adjusting to the uh, the system of economics. You know, yeah, society. Yeah. So how how you can make a living? Jim? Food is it free? Yeah. Also, that happened as well. Not just people being jailed and then charging them interest to pay their fines, yeah. but also people who, like you said, start at zero, and they're like, well, what do I do with zero? Like, I need some form of land to start, like a farm or something. Mm. So they're like, okay, we'll let you borrow land yeah. at a price with yeah. an interest into where you're it's basically... Slavery. Yeah, straight up. It's, it's, it's like, again... It's economic slavery. Mm. You're working harder than you can possibly pay the money. And yeah. Then you it's make the not, it's not only that. It's like, listen, you'll be in debt. So when you die, your kid will be in debt. Oh, that sucks. No, they will be in debt. And so, possibly. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. Like back in the day or no? Back like, in the day. I'm yeah. pretty sure if you can't pay shit, then it has to go somewhere. It's your f closest family member. Oh, the, yeah, like, he has a point. Like, mm -hmm. your, your bond to my family, your family's chain brand is bond to me because yeah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, 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 owed me blah, blah, blah. That's right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> or they just suck in more people. My bad. <laughs> and then, of course, they move up north to get away from that shit in the south. And, of course, all they can afford are bundled together cities and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And then on and on it goes. And then we get this guy on the left. Lower segregation, well, you get lower quality. You like get silly people. Well, segregation yeah. to where you get like hand-me-downs or you have to rebuild your own new thing. You don't get to go to the same school, so you get a hand-me-down school yeah. where it's like crappier conditions. Or That's you true. have to make your yeah. own school, which is like a shack or something like that. Yeah. So That's these things happen. Or something. Yeah. So how did they pick this guy on the left? It was just random? What they'll do uh, is volunteer. They'll they'll look for uh, the another loud guy, and that, that really can't really threaten them. And I think that's intuitive, which is why they'll never go for uh, what's his name. Uh, uh, he was on Fox. Uh, uh, Cornell West. Uh, Cornell no, West. Cornell. I don't even think Cornell West would show up for this. He'd like get someone up like I. I think, and maybe he would. He probably would. Who knows? I think he would. Now he would. Yeah. Why would he do it now? Just oh, to oh. embarrass them, probably. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Without trying to But they know. Them. Like, ah, we don't want to mess with that guy. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to. All right, continuing. Yeah. Well, actually, massive inflation in the South. The Not a lot of cotton money going around these days. No, but there was, there was massive inflation in the yeah. South uh, following the Civil War that just to finance the war. Have you ever had uh, convict leasing? Have you ever had a convict leasing? Okay, that's a different argument. Now you're getting into the way they were treated after the war. Now it's racism reparations, not slavery reparations. And they continue. What a dumb fucking statement. <laughs> you got in the bottom? <laughs> yeah. Like, first you said after slavery, like, it's just zero. You start. Yeah. Yeah, then he lets him finish. Then when he starts talking about the thing I was talking about with the prisons mm -hmm. and, you know, using their labor and all that shit, he changes the argument to, to racism. So that, like, here's slavery and here's racism. They're just... Here, they're separate. There was no continuation of policy uh, after Jim Civil War. Crow, you fuck? Yeah. And the other dude talking about... TV. That's my brother, I think. Why and is he been yelling for like that? He's probably talking to somebody. And the other guy talking about uh, inflation in the South. It's like, well, there was reconstruction to where the North went down and rebuilt all their shit. Mm -hmm. 
So it's not like the United States owed the United States money, right? So they've helped them get off their feet. Plus the fat cats, the filthy rich guys, right? Yeah. They don't they don't get involved in war. Right. Unless it fits their they sit back. Yeah. If it helps them out they'll they'll like fun things here and there. Fun but, things influence certain sides to Yeah. It's basically I don't how do I make this the most profitable thing I can I can. You made me laugh. I just thought about the fat cat from Chippendale Rescue Rangers. <laughs> The point is, I think he had like all his minions were different races, like an alligator and a rat, and like oh man. my god. The point is, there are a lot of non-slave owners fighting in this in the Civil War, yeah. and a lot of slave owners that weren't fighting in the Civil like War. That. They just sat back and watched the action. Hmm. Like fuck, I hope my side wins. So, hey man, you go. Oh no, well, it's like putting your business. money in stocks. Like who's gonna win? Yeah. Well, it's business. Businesses, mafia, and the guys who weren't really slave owners that wanted, that wanted slavery to stick around was because they were getting jobs off of that notion, yeah. or they had enough to hire one slave for their small farm. So yeah, again, money that we created. Yeah. Paper. Also, there's one other story. There was with the whole. Uh, sort of indentured indentured servant type of thing going on where they jail you and someone a private business hires you. Mm. Another reason why it ended was and they used this guy as a scapegoat. He was like a basically a, a sort of poor farmer who had a couple of the inmates working on his land and he killed two of them. And that's when they like put that on the front page news like this guy did this. And it was a reason to end that type of thing. I forgot the name of it exactly, but it's basically indentured servitude. And yeah, they took a poor farmer to do that with. Right? There's a rich guy who was just continuing it. They caught him and everything. Mm-hmm. They're like, listen, we're not going to give you a jail sentence. Just don't do not do it again. <laughs> give me a wrist. No. <laughs> the other guy, you go to jail for uh, eight years. Yeah. Jeez. Go rot. Before somewhere. you do that, take him out back, beat the shit. <laughs> it's like, huh? So there's a lot of scenarios where they care about the rich and don't give a shit about the poor. Yeah. You got only nine minutes in, it's just. Yeah. Situation. The basis of capitalism and imperialism is built on the bodies of African people. So even if you say, fine, now you have these resources to rebuild, the resources that you have to rebuild is from the resources that you stole from Africa. None of you here can say where the resources came from, and it didn't come from your systems, and it didn't come from your brightness, and it didn't come from you being more intelligent than others. It came from stolen loot. This is the world. Okay. I see the idea where I think he's really trying to argue against, yeah. and that's the IQ and race thing. Mm. That's what he's really yeah. arguing against, and he's just jumbled up ideas. And okay, like I said, it ha- it like, like a good combination has to have an idea behind it. You can't just go. Yeah. There were, there were Mike Donna had an idea of what he was doing, you know? Yeah. Like that. Yeah, you can't, yeah. Just throw punches everywhere. It's like, oh, I'll set, I'll set, yeah, I'll set this up that way. Maybe you see my overhand right coming. You know, you'll have no idea it's coming. Then it's like, oh, a punch, bink. <laughs> Good night, Broner. Yeah. So. Clarify. Wait, nations are poor okay. because white nations are rich. That is a fact. That is a fact. It is a fact that fourteen countries. A little bit of a zeitgeist thing going on. Yeah. There. Yeah. <laughs> Gavin's gonna, you know, blow a gasket mm-hmm. soon enough. When he says one particular thing, he's like, oh, "Okay." In Africa, have to give sixty-five percent of their budget to France, and then another fifteen percent of that as a as a char- extra charge. And that if any of those African countries ask, even ask France, how much money is in that bank, that they are overthrown and they are killed and they are replaced with another puppet regime. I'd love to hear their response to that. Yeah. That's straight up from economic yeah. man. Yeah. It's, it's so, nice. Mr. Just, you know, Mr. for McKinnis reference, so, was arms. it United Fruit? Okay. With what? I think it was Ecuador. Ecuador. Mm-hmm. Ecuador. Okay. And, yeah, I would just That's say... A specific example. I would just say watch the documentary on... Oh, sure. On John Perkins. Well, there's... there's or go read the book or something. 
you could go. You could, there, there's a well. I always like audio a little bit better. You know. Oh, it's, Calm down. It's whoever's yeah. listening. Okay. Calm down. Whatever way it's, they want. The one I listened to was like the three hour one or whatever the fuck. You know? Yeah. So. That's a lot of hours. Yeah. So I, I love to hear the response to those. I mean, if you're into it, it just flies by. Let's so. see if they run away from this question right. or point. If this wasn't true, you wouldn't have to have 200, over 200 military bases. Yeah. By the way, I think this guy, I wonder if he's being fed, like, answers and shit. Yeah. Oh, like, like I was, yeah. Being yeah. fed points, sort of. Yeah, where where are you, dude? <laughs> you know? Where's he looking? That looks like a set. I don't know. So yeah. it's like, yeah, military bases. What's your response for that? Yeah, let's, let's hear this response, this brilliant response around the world to solidify and sustain your stolen resources if this was not true everything that you are talking about is based off of bullshit we live in a world that people are being bombed and murdered and assassinated every day so you can have resources so yes i'm talking about the past of what happened in africa but you have to understand the past is now and stop saying african people sold african people as slaves you put the to the africans that did not help the slaves um, trade, they were murdered and beheaded and their heads were sent to the royals. Just now, just oh. now in Ghana, they got the heads of two of shit. their kings back. Positive. No, it, 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 was, it was a big it's industry a in Africa. It's, it's a big a industry country. today, Look my friend. They There's more slaves ever. So they didn't address those other people. He kept fucking machine gunning yeah. words out. But yeah, he was. I would have stopped there and said, okay, respond to that point. Yeah. But I, but that's I was true. sure they were gonna jump over there's, that. Part. There were some smarter blacks that probably had. Oh, sorry, uh, that probably had uh, some higher power in Africa, and they're like, "Hey, I can make some profit over this." And they probably oh, sold there are definitely people. kingdoms and shit. Yeah, so that guy is that just, are like just like in medieval times or wherever in the world, whatever. Like, yeah. these people mean nothing to me. Well, he said, I'll "Don't." He said, "Don't say that because if it didn't comply, then they would get killed." I don't know if yeah. that's true. And there had to be sent back to the world uh, or something. I have no idea. I, yeah, I don't know about that. I, I never heard of that before. And he said that's total horse shit or whatever. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I don't know. He's waiting for something he can argue with. Yeah. He's, He's trying to get that. another reaction because he could see all these machine guns. <laughs> you say that how can you say that that they were not murdered for oh by the way when he talks about slavery he might be talking about libya um, yeah i hope he doesn't when he's talking about african slavery he might be talking about libya okay if he well, says libya then this guy should be able to kill him on that point mm. yeah considering the u.s intervention in libya mm. <sighs> not helping the set of helping because the slavery slaves. existed way before we were buying the slaves and it still exists today Slavery is as old as, as human civilization. There's slavery in the Bible before there was any sort of... The origin of the word is a white slave, a slav. But yeah, that's where they, they had from. slavery in Africa before we decided to buy some. And they still have them right now. I'm a soul. Is it my point? It's your point. So what? Well, I would make a distinction there. As in, those slaves in Africa, at least the dumb conditioned people, can look at them and say, okay, they're humans. I just don't care about them. Mm. When it became American slavery, it was like, you're less than human. In fact, and also with the colonization, mm. they had right things to say, like, oh, they're less than us. Subhuman. So they, they might not be human the way we're human. Yeah. Thus, you can take advantage of them and have justification. I had my doubts, but... <laughs> it's... What I was trying to say is, like, okay, like, are you trying justification for what? Yeah, no. That's what I'm getting at. Like, what's your point, dude? Yeah. I don't know what their point is. Know. They're, they're leaving breadcrumbs. Fault they have them right now? That you invented. No, we did not. You have never been on this space and planet until you came no, into it. No, it's and not guess what? true. Your slavery, the slavery that you had, was so huge and so all encompassing that it has built a system. It has built a system of capitalism. It has built a system of oppression. It has built parasitic capitalism that gives you these cities and these nations. It's Where right. are the... It's people that do that, not, not a system or uh, something, that's, uh, something that's enforced. It's dumb fucks with a megaphone. Yeah. Or dumb fucks who whisper in the ears of guys who have megaphones. Guys, it's the law. It's the law. It's like, oh, who made the law? Oh, dumb <laughs> fucks. Dumb people. Ignorant people. Corrupt people. Oh, so it's people. Oh. Yeah. That's it. That's it. 
See, that's there it goes. Bye that's bye. exactly what I was saying. Like, he doesn't realize what ideas he's latching on to now. Now you have to accept this bullshit over here yeah. too. Yeah. It's like you need to refine these ideas first yeah, before you just go dumb. screaming them out loud. The cities and these nations for these other slaves, these other slave owners. Where yeah, the Irish here? slaves. Where's Where their America? Mecca? What about the 1.5 million white people sold into slavery during the Barbary pirates? Yeah, that. yeah what, that, isn't that why we had to invent the Marines to protect ourselves from all these biggest, Muslim pirates stealing biggest, our women? The biggest colonial empire, aside from the British, was the Ottoman Empire, and no one seems to want reparations for them because they're not white. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, it was... Who cares? You should point that out, too. Yeah. Who cares? Fuck. Yeah. Point well, out both of again, them. Again, it's this guy's fault. Uh, Ghazi, right? Like, you leave, you leave the door open for that, man. If you're going to cover, like, if you're going to only pay attention to one part of tyranny, then yeah. you're fucked. You know? It's everything. Everything. Yeah. No, only my team. All right, okay, get out. Not also, ready, not ready yet. if you watch Corbett's video on World War I, yeah, there's was, there was sort of a strategy to break up the Ottoman Empire. Mm. That's, when he's, that's when the Brits started promising land to certain mm. different types of people. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I bring up preparations for the Japanese, right? Correct. They were directly affected. We did it. We were total tyrants. Well, those who were directly in turn got reparations. Yeah, but I'm glad you brought up Japan. Harbors and all these other kind of things, but you are currently living right now on a system that is built from the slavery and the colonization of other people, of African people, and that you cannot negate from. And no, we just did not. I disagree. So much more, and it. I disagree too. I disagree. Built an entire nation. America yeah. today would not be America today if it wasn't for the enslavement of African people. I Europe disagree. would not be Europe today if it wasn't for colonialism and slavery. White nations, white people would not be where white people are right now if it was not for colonialism and not for slavery. And right now you are dealing with a crisis of imperialism, of African and colonized people fighting every day. That's why when you go to your airports, you got to go through all these freaking checkouts and take your shoes off and everything. You want to know why this long. motherfucker coming back to take back their stuff. You want to know why you have to build a wall? Because people are coming back to take their stuff. You want to know why you have to drop the biggest bomb, the biggest non-nuclear bomb of Afghanistan? Because African and colonized people are fighting for their shit back consistently everywhere. So as much as you want to negate it, no, as much as you want to say, well, what about this and this happened and this happened and oh my God, this happened in history, this happened. Oh my God, machine gun. Motherfuckers are coming for your neck. Do you so, not see that? So the reason we, okay, we, that's a good argument for a wall. The reason we bombed that. ISIS in Afghanistan is to steal money from Africa. And then the best, the best summation. Uh, whatever. Self-explanatory. And it's just yeah. a sarcastic, dumb comment. And content, content, content flying by. It's like you got to say something to where it can stick to, for, <laughs> for someone listening, or even them, to where they're like, oh, we have to scramble for an answer for this. Mm -hmm. It's just so much shit you're saying. Half of it's probably incorrect. I feel like the rest of the other half is just probably good. coming from a biased place anyway. I feel like the rest of this video is just gazzy talking. Yeah. What, nah, do you think? what do you think? They'll say something here and there. Yeah. But he's not giving them a chance to speak. Thus, making them look good. Like good guys. It's like shit. This is good. We're not to say anything. We might say something wrong. You could do, Matt, is to come yes, up sir. with a book about Islam. That Islam is the crux of this issue. That Islam well, is the core of this issue. That, you know, these Muslims just hate freedom. No, these colonized people hate that you're bombing them and you're stealing their resources and starving them to death. And <laughs> what are these they resources you keep talking about? That they we took, we took their diamonds and built an entire country from it. Yeah, I don't, I don't drive a diamond mobile. Do you mean oil? You drive something that is filled with the oil, right? You do something yes. that's filled with salt, so right? Yeah. Right? All these metals, all this stuff, where do you think that came from? The where metal? Do where do we get metal from? Metal here, China. We're doing great for metal. Purposely not yeah. answering things. Yeah. That's why this is gold for them. Mm. So they don't have to say much because he just keeps talking. So they can, <laughs> they can just be like, well, he kept talking. I couldn't say anything. Yeah. And then they jump in at certain points that are so, like, obvious. Yeah. I'm elevating myself now. It's like, wow, dude. Wow. Wow. Like he could have easily just brought up, like the factories these materials are, you know, coming for her. Yeah, yeah. He's that just, are making these he's iPhones just using and words. shit. No, there's plenty of other shit other than iPhones. Yeah, 
Uh, almost all our technology is over yeah. there for cheap yeah. labor. Yeah. It's like, hey, it's like someone proposing a business deal. Okay, let's let's go, let's get this factory in uh, in China. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, Foxconn. It's like, uh, you you gonna pay those people appropriately? <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. I will not be associated with anything that does that. Nah. Hey, I don't, how come these guys don't think of the, these things? Let's say you made the best phone that will, it takes a hundred years before it breaks. Mm. You make one of those phones, you, you sell them at a decent price, mm. or even if, it, even if it's uh, expensive, it's like a thousand dollars for this one phone. Mm. That, you know, reception's great, never breaks, the screen's made of something that doesn't crack, or whatever the fuck. It comes with a protector so the screen doesn't crack, and all that shit, and it lasts a hundred years. But you're the top CEO guy will only make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Mm. It's like, do you guys not see what would happen with that? It's like, dude, you'd be worldwide famous. There would be people like bowing down to you, like, you're the guy that did this and it's not making much money off it. This has helped our lives out. Well, hopefully it's not for that. It's like mm. that's right. Can you imagine Jeff Bezos who has like seventy six billion dollars, his yeah. his value. And he gave, and he's like, I'm giving every American a million dollars each. Yeah. Can you, like, do people would be, you'd be in history books forever yeah. for doing that. How come they don't consider that? So that's why I'm like, conspiracy. They're scared to do something like that. Either that or they're in on the game and they're corrupt. Yeah. yeah. I'd do it. Probably There's a I'd lot probably, of people that would do that. I'd it's probably like, get killed. It's like, well, let me do the math. There's. Hmm. There's a hundred, there's yeah. a thousand million. Are you talking about this? <laughs> there's a thousand million in each billion. Mm -hmm. hmm. There's 300 million Americans. Mm -hmm. I'll give 300 million away. Mm. I'll still have 75 billion and whatever left. Yeah. 300,000. It's like, fuck. Then you think about it even further. Like, wait, there's seven and a half billion people on the planet, and I have 76 billion dollars. Mm. <clears throat> Man. It's like, yeah, I can uh, give everyone a billion dollars. Yeah, the Zuck, <laughs> the Zuck could help out too, but he's too busy at, uh, recharging the batteries. They could collectively do it. Yeah, no, they'd be painting the fucking. Not like that. Hey, all those, all the money used on those legal wars and whatnot. I'm for sure it's an ungodly amount of money. You know, forget them. Just go private business guys, right? That is a private business. They could all like, okay, we're all gonna throw in a billion it, dollars is each. Is that not a private business? Oh, you mean the military companies? Yeah. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah, but. There's no front man, individual CEO guy that no, they look at. Not a public figure. Yeah. Not like. <laughs> but yeah, they'd be painting like the last yeah, sucker. I know. Fucking paintings of those guys with their fucking faces on it. Hey, be cool. like, you guys are legends. We're making statues of you. Like, it wouldn't be smart to do, but you know, dumb people are in dumb shit. Yeah. Like, cool. Now knock it down. Like you will be glorified forever for doing. Let's this. all knock it down. Let's all knock down the statue. We'll have cake. <laughs> all right, continue. That is in your car is all is blood oil. All the diamonds that you have, even when you give and you give to your wife, and this is the diamond, is blood diamonds stolen from African people. Well, I think we get most of our oil from Canada and Mexico, and most of the oil. Is yeah, that's true. Canada, and Mexico. We get most of our natural resources. Well, not natural, like oil and shit. We get mm -hmm. that from Canada. Mm -hmm. What about the stuff from China? Uh, Dan, stop trying to kick the desk. Oh. <laughs> Labor. Uh, as far as why we do things with resources overseas mm. is a geopolitical, strategical thing. Oh, the triangle trade or something. Well, we can't let Russia win, you see. Well, it's a business. We don't do you want, want them dominating it? We don't want Russia importing oil and sure. natural gas yeah. to Europe. You want to do it. Yeah. You want Syria or Israel to do it. Yeah. Not Syria, but, you know, Syria cut into pieces, a pipeline through Syria. Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, so, so guys, that's what you get. See, the coast access pipeline, imagine that, that shit going through Middle East. It's either that or they want a, they want a self-fulfilling prophecy of Jesus coming back. <laughs> if he did, well, let's see if he did. <laughs> People yeah. should have him. Yeah. Verbally. He's like, Listen, pussies. It's like, oh, that's not Jesus. It's like, yes, it is. 
<laughs> yeah, it would literally be the rapture. Like, I'm gonna snap yeah. my finger, and all you legitimately moral people will go to this safe place while I deal with these guys. I'm just gonna talk to them, but God. bombs are gonna go off. I need you guys in a safe place. Isn't it funny how someone's like write this down? It's like bombs went off, literally. No. <laughs> it's like, it's like it's called a verbal See, Dick verbal Cheney, weapons. Dick Cheney in his bomb shelter. Jesus is there. Pushes the button. No, no, no. Five nukes. It looks like fucking Skynet. Dick Cheney goes in his shelter. His wife, his wife is like, let me in. He's like, you mean nothing to me. Presses the nukes, the <laughs> nuke button. He puts on his Darth Vader suit. I'm just going to say hi and walk on water. Yeah. And that'll be enough. <laughs> They'll start bombing each other yeah. immediately. Yeah. All right, let's continue. See, this isn't real. Starts hyperventilating. <laughs> Press the nuke button. <laughs> the shit I've done. Starts worshiping Satan. From Saudi Arabia, we paid for it. I don't understand. <laughs> and that's UK Islam. Who? UK who? UK who? Islam. <laughs> Saudi Arabian. <laughs> Very UK rich who? Saudis. Very rich Saudis that do exactly whatever America says, and if they don't, that they will be replaced. But the masses of the people of Saudi Arabia are poor and colonized. The masses of people of Middle East are poor and colonized. And if Saudi Arabia was a self-determining nation that fought and aligned and gave the power and the resources to the masses of the people, there would be no Israel. They would wipe out Israel. And they would wipe out this this oppressive relationship that all of the Middle East has with America, and you created a Saudi Arabia. You created these countries the same That's way you created okay. these 54 nations in Africa. There was no African in that building when when white people decided to chop up Africa into pieces. And then you mm-hmm. instill these um, puppet regime um, governments. And if these governments do not do as you say, you murder them and you ask them out. And these governments have to yeah. give you their resources. Yeah. The same way Saudi Arabia has to give you all that damn oil is the same way that all that Congo has to give all their damn resources to France. That all these or responded. all these countries have to give their resources. They haven't responded in like a minute. They have nothing. He's saying decent points. Are just yeah, give them room. I think you would hear dead space. It's like rather than rather than statements, it's like, you did this and you did it. It has to be like a question, like Dawson like proposed like a question. And there's a statement. There's a statement of beforehand, but then there's a question after. Hey, look, they you both are qu- making the same face. They're stupid. <laughs> You say a question that they that you know they don't know the answer to, mm. <laughs> and then you correct them on it after they answer yeah. it. And there's a follow up. Yeah. yeah. It's like strategy. If they don't, the yeah. petty bourgeoisie, the neo colonial sellouts would be murked and overturned. But the masses of the people stay poor. The masses of the people stay poor. You have to understand. You, it, it is what. You that? cannot think that that, that. How do you think that that's not real? He's how do you think that that's not real? You're right. When that is the life that you live. You're totally when that right. That is the life that you live. You live in. You live on the empire, and it is You're white true. opportunism. It You're is true. white opportunism to to negate from any of that and to say, you know what? We just got this because we because we design better than y'all because we do infrastructure better than y'all. When the mass of the people, when people are willing to strap bombs on themselves to run into crowds, you have to ask yourself, no, that is not some damn Allah. No, that is not some damn You're conflating every non-white group as one big anti-white movement because I think you're inherently racist. You don't like white people. So let's just accept that everything you say is totally correct. And we stole everything. See, I didn't answer any of the questions. Yeah. Like, okay, let's just take, let's just say that's all right. Now let's continue from here. Yeah. It's like, that's a way of getting rid of all those questions yeah. and answer, from answering them. He's trying to wipe them all out, man. Yeah. That's not cool. Where do we go from here? What's the next step? How do we go Let's forward? Let's everything you just said. That African people, we, we put kind of to our own, if we lead our own struggles and lead our own countries, that we fail. That what I'm saying is, African and colonized people around the world are fighting against imperialism, like, are fighting against parasitic capitalism. <laughs> it was yeah. you that connected it's white to that. It was you that made white and imperialism, white and colonialism, white and parasitic capitalism. You guys tried your darndest to colonize us. Remember Hannibal and his elephants going up to Spain? He, You didn't colonize because you 
weren't good enough at it. Colonizers, Sorry. Were, colonizers were the British, and we broke free from them, so there's really no connection. I'm sure. Yeah, your okay. problem is whites and are whites, whether they're British, Portuguese, we're all the same. And then non-whites, from Hispanics to, to Saudi Arabians, who don't like you, by the way, are all one big anti-white force that's fighting back over all these diamond smugglers. We're like fucking hamburglers. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Nah. I'm sorry. I don't think that's the point at all. Comedic so. relief, though. That's funny. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. It's a deflection I, mechanism. I felt bad for him. He's crying inside. He's like... <laughs> Who, Gazi? Yeah, because he said uh, all these good things, and then they're like, uh, let's make fun of him. His first half was like <clears throat> maybe 50-50 of decent information, and then like... Then like Some shit. I, I would, I would say that the, 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 point, the points leading from like what he was saying is decent. But yeah. it's just mediocre the way it comes out. Yeah. So, the, like a year the ago, based off like the information terrible. that I had or could point to, I can I would it still would made like a way better argument. Yeah. But now it's like five minutes. <laughs> yeah. All three of them. Uh but what do we do next? Say you're right and everything was stolen. Obviously, 14 trillion or whatever you think it is, 28 trillion, is unfathomable. That's the deficit. And the net worth of this country is around 80 trillion. So there's the argument that everything was stolen. You want everything? You want all 80 trillion? White people created white unity with the UN. White people created white unity with NATO. White people created white unity through the The UN hates us. Once again, I think he's mistaking just powerful people with white people. Yeah. And it's probably predominantly white, but that has nothing to do with it, really. I mean, it, I would it's, say. Just, it's just very easy to see how, like, certain groups, like, so, like certain families, or certain groups of people will stay on top of the totem pole as far as economics for a long period of time. Yeah. The Bush family. Yeah. It's like his son and their kids and then most his likely kid. theirs, you know? Because they have resource-like wealth. Sure. Yeah. Where, where you can pass down money and pass down money and eventually the money could run out yeah, if you yeah. pass down major corporate business yeah to major corporate that's business sustainable. To major, that's gonna keep going yeah unless they absolutely fuck it up like Bruce Wayne in Dark Knight Rises he loses all his money yeah alright through fighting and saying that they need to come together so they can continue to steal the resources of African people and the times that white people separated the times that white people divided was World War I and World War II, which were both, which were both about fighting over colonized resources, which were both about fighting over colonized resources. World War yes. II was about fighting over colonized resources. Yes, because Germany was upset with what y'all gave them last time, and they, wanted, they needed and wanted more of those colonized resources, and that's why they had troops in North Africa fighting oh. for those stolen resources. I think they're trying yes. to take over the world. I don't think they still are, are they? No. Well, if you look at World War One specifically, uh, what? Oh, it's a group of business. Last night. What were you watching? Something last night. Watch the what were you watching? That might even pertain to this. I don't know if it was World War One they're talking about or World War Two. It was something where two small nations were fighting. Yeah. And yeah. one had the backing of like Germany, and one had the backing of Russia, and then it just started expanding to the war until like all of Europe was just engulfed in war. No, oh, yeah. I think that was World War One. Well, if you say specifics, then I can take it. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy, Archduke. Oh, it's for a guy. World War One. Getting murdered. That's right. That's World War One. And that set off a small nation yeah. versus a small nation. And yet, again, if you look at the assassination of Archduke. Uh, yeah. Corbett report. Did they say it, Fran? Franz Ferdinand. Fran, whatever. Yeah. Right. The Archduke. Ferdinand. What was behind that? Oh, it was somewhat strategic business moves. Oh yeah. So, is it about? Apparently, I don't know. Is it about business? Could it be about colonization? There's, there's evidence to support that theory, but I don't think he would go there. But on paper, if he wrote that down, I'm like I don't think you're far off, dude. If you hear things, wrote like written about before the event happens, mm. like if just like the PNAC shit. Yeah. If we had like another Pearl Harbor, that would be an excuse to do this. It's like you're writing about it before the event happens. It comes off as suspicious to me. Completely suspect. So when it comes to the Ferdinand being mm -hmm. assassinated, mm -hmm. there's like writings about it beforehand. It's like, 
Alright, so it's like just like just just show the random guy, hey dude, you know what the project for a new American century is? Come here. Yeah. It's like this was made on this date. Are you worried? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you should be. Yeah. This is creepy. This is like, hey, it's like, it's like, it's like, like everybody like here, this is pamphlets. This is project for a new American century, guys. Check this out. Everybody has it and they just see shit that happens, like, wait a minute. Like, listen, you can sit up there, you can talk about your facts, your logical reasoning, but I was in the army. <laughs> yeah. You must be right. All right. <laughs> so let's keep this going. Awesome. Was the, uh, yeah, I think it was colonized, non colonized, fucking water. I think they were going for the whole kit and caboodle. But what, where do we go from here, Gazi? They were fighting for resources and the resource and the parents These situation. Resources. We're good for resources. America's replete with resources. The only thing we're slightly low on is oil. But if we could frack, we could we and OPEC would stop lowering the price. I think we'd be pretty good. And you'll notice, by the way, people don't want fracking. No, it's horrible. There's a lot of people that do not want fracking. What is fracking? It, it fucks up the environment. Fracking? I believe it's where they use like explosives, like blow up mountains and shit and pull resources out of them. Something like that. I don't know exactly. But wow. it's, like, it's like destroying land, basically. There you go. Every time you have another country like Haiti or Venezuela or Cuba, it's always, they cut us off. So other countries fail because we don't give them enough shit, but every time, every time we do something wrong, it's because we keep stealing stuff. We don't... We. Us. I don't think he understands things like sanctions and no. to where nations could literally starve to death Shit. if you if the U.S. decided to sanction them because it's not just the U.S. right? Okay. The process of injecting hot liquid at high pressure into sub subterranean rocks, boreholes, etc., so as to force open existing fissures, extract oil or gas. Hmm. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah if the u.s decides to sanction someone well here comes the uk yeah here comes france here comes germany here comes yeah. this okay so say we're gonna put sanctions here no flies <laughs> <laughs> it's like see how it's setting up shit you know so, plus we have the we could blow up your country anytime we want yeah and there's fucking yeah, bases bombs. everywhere if you have a military threat like that yeah so we're trying like, hey, I don't know why North Korea is making such a big deal. Maybe it's because you uh, do war simulations right outside. Yeah. It's like, all right. Yeah, this guy's a simpleton. <laughs> like, he finds reasons for there to be no fault of the U.S. Yeah, I know. Even though he's Canadian, for some reason he's very loyal. He's a nationalist for. <sighs> for also America. Made, Dawson said something about specifically about uh, Canadian uh, political com uh, commentators. Yeah. It's like. Fuck, Why does it seem so? It seems like so set up for some reason. Hey. They all align with each other, yeah. and they're all strictly talking about American politics, except for you know SJWs. Don't need anything. We're good. Oh. Nope. Then they'll talk about Canadians, but they're not talking about foreign policy of Canadians and yeah. all that shit. Yeah. Because ten percent. Because 12%, white people make up, what, 12, 16% of the world mm -hmm. and have access and rule over 80% of the resources. So, yes, you are good. Maybe we're you just better at business. Good, like, but yeah. African and colonized people are not. You know, are not. there's actually... And, that's what for. and Venezuela, you cut Venezuela off through using Saudi Arabia and other nations. They got tons of oil. Why can't they run their own ship? Why do they need my charity? Oh my it's God. called sanctions. As in, we won't buy your shit unless you put Exxon Mobil in here and run it. How did he make it on Rogan's podcast? <laughs> comedian. He's a comedian? Yeah. Uh, I think. Right. Your shit. Why do I need to buy their shit? You mean cut them off? That's like saying, this kid's doing bad after he moved out of the house because you don't give him any more stuff. But when you cut Venezuela off from everyone else, and not only cut them off, but you put in regimes and coups in there to overthrow them. That's a coup. To overthrow their <laughs> coup. Ooh. Military coup. Yeah, and he doesn't. He doesn't respond to that question. No. 
no research. Solution, then yeah, chicken shit gets coop? fucked up. Because it's not just, oh, my charity. But then you have this Contel pro action against these Gallo. people Even to destabilize these right people. Now, had him so it's not Chavez's Chavez fault. Is our, did we put Chavez in there? That's our fault? Chavez was great. Interesting. Okay. At least Chavez was voted in. Voted? And they Democrat spent years way. trying to get him out of there. Yeah. That's why you had like, you know, oh, here's it like Marlins fans booing uh, Maglio Ordonez. Yeah. Because he had like a Venezuelan flag or something like that. Mm -hmm. He was like proud of it or something. Yeah. Why aren't they Chavez is there. You can't be doing it. Yeah. Uh, or Cuban flag. <laughs> Castro. Yeah. That's stupid. I think it was Venezuelan. Right? I said or. Uh, Maglio or uh, yes. He was overrated. Nice kid. He was a good player, though. He was alright. But the point is, right, you can shift angles that pe like people's beliefs and shit using these political games. Sure. Hmm. He's it's starving like, people over there. It's like, no, he's locked in a building right now. Hmm. And there's people firing guns at him and shit like that. Yeah. That's what happened in Venezuela. It was apparently somehow these uh, protesters got like snipers and shit. Yeah. Got on roofs, started picking off normal people, and they're like, "Oh, the government's shooting us." And that's and how you find out. Like, they start a coup. They have you find out. Oh, how those how do those protesters get there? Who formed them? Who yeah. are they being funded by? Okay, this guy over here in this other country, way across. Yeah. Hmm. And that's how it's So said. again, yeah, so it's like, like uh, hypothetically speaking, the like, situation would be what, uh, hey, listen, uh, what's his name? Name as well? George? Chavez. Chavez, first name. Uh, Hugo? Hugo, yeah, okay, I got, I, I thought so. Hey, listen, uh, how about this uh, business deal we can do? No? All right, see you later. What's wrong with those protesters out there? <laughs> uh, okay, this, we, uh, we got rid of those guys. The military swoops in. And you'll see that. change the regime. Yeah. And then he gets taken out or whatever. And then new regime. You'll see that. New government. You'll see that as a theme with countries that want to nationalize a whatever precious resource. Yeah. You've seen it in Libya. He nationalizes oil to where, you know, in Libya they got free college and a mm -hmm. free monthly wage mm -hmm. and all that stuff. All this free stuff. Yeah. Because he only spent the oil money on them, yeah. most of it on them. Yeah. Let's see. So well, it's yeah, like, I wasn't corrupt, but you can't do that. Yeah, he's I gonna can, use gold like, money. Panama. Panama's another one. Yeah, an alleged victim of this shit. Uh, Ecuador. Uh, a, lo a lot of yeah, South, I keep South America. In yeah, Middle East too. A lot of Middle East. Iraq, uh, Afghanistan. Iraq. Iran's probably next. I heard them. They, they, they bring it up every now and then. Regime change. It's time they, for regime change. They basically continued what they did in Africa. Yeah. As far as like some of these Western nations, what they did there, they took that strategy and mm. used it in other places. Yeah. Now there's free, open market slavery in Libya. Yeah. And uh, South America pulled themselves together a little bit better, but. At the same time, they might have introduced a leader that fit the U.S.'s agenda. Yeah, corrupt dude. He'll listen to us. <laughs> if he doesn't. Yeah. They it's were, like, uh, like, uh, how did, um, how did, uh, how does Saddam get there? You put him in. Uh, who do you work for? Oh, he was an FBI guy, huh? Oh. No, 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 Gavin. Let's not talk about that. No. Fucking simp. Yeah. So, I mean, why do... I mean, my main question is, why do other... Uh, I mean, obviously, Africa's a continent, but why would country, other countries outside of Africa who are also colonized so successful today? For example, Switzerland was colonized, uh, Taiwan, South Korea... Actually, I think I have a list of some others. Uh, is Hiroshima, Hiroshima and Nagasaki look so wonderful today? Yeah, I mean, it's... I mean, the main argument, too, is you can look at India. They were one of the, British, uh, the, Br the British's main victims of colonialism, aside from Africa. Um, a lot of their economic policies actually led to around 10 million Indians starving to death. So you'd think, you know, there's pretty big scars. It's a lot more recent than colonialism of Africa. And what I, I would do I is... I memorize numbers. And just... I'd sit there and be like, you haven't answered any of my questions yet. Yeah. yeah. That'd, be my, that'd be the first thing I'd want to I'd be pissed off. He doesn't answer anything. 
Well, it's 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 what they're taught to do. It's, it's them, political commentators, and politicians. Man. If I say something in regards of, oh, what are you going to do about, uh, what are you going to do about, um, as far, no, if I, if I ask him something about, uh, like, there's a lot of talk about <coughs> regime change, and there's, and there's a lot of uh, similarities between this and the past events of history as far as the U.S. government being involved in other uh, nations' elections yeah. or politicians. Do you have any uh, comments on that? It's like, well, uh, we, we see a lot of injustice, and we try to have a positive influence. <laughs> like, you didn't answer my question. <laughs> yeah. And then their security team takes them on. Um, Don't wait, tase me, bro. I'm waiting for a meeting. Don't tase me. Ah, ah. It's like, and yet you look at Indian households in America, and the average household income is, I think, around $102,000. So regardless of what problems they have in their history, they're doing pretty well here. Hold on. First off, you think India's doing good? No, I'm talking about Indians who live in America. Okay. Because you just said that all these people are doing great after colonialism. But then you named Italy, you named, I mean, you named India, mm -hmm. and then you named Africa. And do you want to name uh, Switzerland was colonized? It was uh, of... Switzerland, South Korea, Taiwan, Singapore, and Hong Kong. You know, they Switzerland all have... made resources off of African, pe African colonized people as well, right? Oh, that, ex that must explain it, yeah. Africa doesn't have that much good shit, to be honest. They got, like, some, some jewels. They not have that much good shit, to be honest, and that's why you, Jeez, that's why you attacked Africa. No. No, they don't. We don't really. Uh, no, yeah. You know, I think yeah. exports from Africa are like two percent of our GDP. Yeah, dude's like a you hear that? African, African exports are two percent of our GDP. We like the shiny stuff, but we don't. If I tell Gavin, sing for me. He can't do it. Uh, Gavin, you didn't know that. You had to wait for whatever research team you have in the background, yeah. holding up fucking cards, giving you answers, <laughs> or him it's doing like, it. It's like I tell him, Somebody's hey, definitely hey, sing. Cards. Oh, you can't sing without that shit. Huh? Okay, no problem. Uh, write me a song. Oh, you don't know how to write songs. Fuck, oh, what are you? Oh, oh, oh. oh, you're just something that caught, that, that, you know, that caught wind, you know? Yeah. So, you're a commodity. Thank those college kids, man. Yeah. You really need it. Yeah. You don't need diamonds. But They're only a value because we restrict the They're not even popular anymore. Diamonds are like old people. They only have value. No has a diamond like a jewelry drawer you anymore. Go ahead. So... So yeah, I could I could just hand you like a, you know, ten million carat diamond. Yeah. And you'd be like, this is worth nothing. Just throw it outside. It's just the road, a rock. Right? No one needs diamonds anymore. Yeah. So clearly, people care about them, <laughs> and they're very valuable. Blood diamonds, man. My diamonds. Put down my diamonds. Um, yes, yes, I do need my cell phone. Need uranium. Yeah, isn't uranium in your Eastern phone? European mostly? You need the in your cell phone. Do you know where the resources in your cell phone comes from? A lot of places. Africa, the Congo, China. Yeah, but only two percent. Well, oh, yeah, it's overall. I mean, certainly no one's going to deny their their resources from Africa. It's just of our well, you just overall with exports. The 2%, but Correct. Continue. Look, we're talking in circles here, but yes. Using this computer. <laughs> he realized he got caught and yeah. he tried to change the fucking thing. Oh shit! Yeah. How much money do cell phones bring into the nation? Yeah. A lot of fucking money. Yeah. A lot of freaking money. <laughs> and I don't think it accounts for 2% of it. Fuck no. Definitely not. So, better change your subject. Let's go. Computer that has African resources. While we're what? using these plastic African resources. While you're in a building that's filled with African, re African colonized resources. No, it's that's not true. Is there anything that's not from Africa? The stuff that you stole from South America, the stuff that you stole <laughs> from Australia, the stuff that you steal from this colony. So we steal from Australia. It's white though, so it's, from I'm your, so wait, confused. Wait, when you say steal from yourself, do you I'm mean so when you said Canada and America, <clears throat> which are both co colonial settlers states, do you, do you, is that what you're saying? Because I don't know. I mean, like, yes, that's what I'm saying. You're right. I'm wrong. Let's, okay. let's, we're running out of time here, Gad. <laughs> <laughs> as, as much as he's been blabbering on, he caught, <laughs> he caught him again. Mm -hmm. To where it's like, it's like, whoa, we have our own resources here in America. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, you colonized here too. Mm -hmm. You just this is just where you stay. Mm -hmm. So it's like, <sighs> keep running. You know, even everything you get from this country that you call America is colonial oh. loot because you murdered the people, pushed them into these concentration camps. So yes, you are still a settler. You are when do you stop complaining settler. about the past and just move forward? When is something not everyone else's fault? Ever heard of culpability?
you can hear the, the Canadian accent start coming in. Yeah. Why is it everyone else's fault? What are you complaining about? About. Shut ya, shut ya. His his frustrations shed, uh, shed his shield of personality. On fire. Why don't, Why don't you, you fix, fix your, your own, own fucking, fucking life? Oh. Cause you didn't fix yours. You did not fix yours. You destroyed mine to fix yours. You no, I never touched. That's rough. Yeah, that's wrong. that's wrong. That's completely wrong. But they should both, all three of them, fix themselves. Do some, do some work. Touched your fucking life, you loser. Go get a job. Go do something. Stop bitching about other people. It makes you look like a bitch. When this guy is extremely popular. Has tons of followers because I, I don't know. I guess he's funny. He's funny. He dresses cool. Started a men's club. I can't believe you just. I mean, honestly, I never bitch on says, pro says provocative I shit. I never laughs at him. Like you know what I mean? I don't think I've ever laughed. Well, he got like three laughs out of me. Maybe two. I died. Oh, well, like if he if he says some stupid shit, like you're exposing yourself as an imbecile to me, then I'm gonna laugh. Not oh you're funny. Uh huh. Like no, nah, dude. I can't. Yeah. I'm just saying my personal taste in comedy. Like I need context. Mm. I need one thing that led this that led that came from something else. You know? Yeah. Like oh this is a joke here, but it's because of this social event that happened. Mm. You know what I mean? It's not just. Playing politics. He was paying you, man. <laughs> Look, he's looking right at the chalkboard. Yeah. I need a George Carlin to make fun of names because he's sick of the fucking American lifestyle. Yeah. Right? That's the thing it's attached to. Yeah. He has a point behind it. It's like American it's football. Not just play left, right, left and right politics. <laughs> Boring ass, non funny shit. All right. Football we played at Soldier Field. It's like, huh? You complain about other people all the time. Why aren't I successful? You did this to me. You help me. You bring me stuff. You make my life better. Go make your own life better. Yeah, In black America, stop killing each other and go make your own lives better. We tried charity, we tried reparations with welfare and everything else. We probably paid the number you want. We probably paid billions of dollars in reparations and welfare. We did. We. We. He, he didn't come here until he was. This Canadian adult. paying our American taxes yeah. did that. Fuck yeah, he's such a poser. <laughs> he is a. He is. It doesn't work. You need to help yourself. Maybe try reading the Bible, you stupid communist. When did I ask you to make my life better? Oh. That's all you do. All you do. Reparations is me helping you. You help you. Reparations is you helping me. Yes. I've never said that. You want my money, don't you? Where's the money come from? I'll tell you what reparations is. All right. Please do. Send on that note. Send on that. In African people that we will get what is owed to us. I have an enemy faith in- Yeah, I checked, have you checked out South Africa recently? It's not going great. Have you checked the status of the crisis of imperialism? Have you checked the status of what's going on with the white ruling class fighting over the state right now in the White House? Have you checked yourself? Because it looks to me that you're on the way down. But let me tell you something. That might be I've true. never said That's that paying reparations helps us or is helping us. Reparations is not our thing of please help us white people. Reparations is a humanitarian way of saying this is the way to overturn the colonial relationship. That if a white person wants to get on the right side of the question and stop living off of the backs of other people, stop living off of the blood and destruction of other people, pay reparations. Pay reparations. That is the only way. Wait. That's that's dumb shit. Man, I think it's over. You can't buy redemption, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, there's, it's, there's shitty behavior from all over the fucking world. Oh, it's like, you're forgiven. Just oh. my Benjamin's in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. It's like, let me, buy, let, me, let me buy my way into heaven. Yeah, so there's problems coming from all over the world that are multi-layered and usually existential in nature. Mm. Or lack thereof. Wow.
The only way a colonizer can stop being a colonizer, that's the only way a succubus can stop being a succubus, is to stop that relationship and to give what is owed, period. You don't, and let me tell you real quick, you don't have to do it. Okay, you don't good. have to. Yes, and guess what, I'm glad you don't. I'm glad you don't, because the line is drawn. The line is drawn and the line is great. But guess what? Next time you go to the airport and you're afraid, Next time there's another terrorist attack and you're afraid. Next time there's somebody that walks up into um, a restaurant and blows himself up and you're afraid, or even a gay club and blows himself up and you're afraid. Understand, that is the crisis of imperialism, deepening and deepening and deepening. I think it's inbred Muslims reading the Quran too much. And as far as reparations... Didn't answer the question. Yeah, just, no, skip straight. He says, he says something crude and then he'll... Yeah, it's like, you don't think us being over there had anything to do with this? <laughs> Even the start of it? <laughs> really? The legitimate start of it. Now, I'm sure there was extremist Muslims. Oh, sure, no, but here's the thing. They weren't getting heavily funded. Yeah. Especially, like, if the U.S. Army rolls in and people, people get killed on the regular, they're like, oh, fuck, we gotta, we gotta protect ourselves. They start forming these mini groups. And the next thing you know, like, see, they're terrorists over there. It's like, no, you see what happens when dum-dums get, like, get scared and shit? Or we created... On, bo on both sides? Yeah. Look. Or we created Al-Qaeda. That was just a small, small group of oh, people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... What happens when there's... Sort of events start happening. Yeah. It's like, hmm, this is our recruitment tool. What yeah, happens when, when there's funding's cut? Wow. Well, oh, it, it's disappearing. Oh, yeah. just so happens a bunch of shit... Oh, we forgot a bunch of guns in, uh... Iraq. Yeah. It's like, huh? I guess they're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's, called a, it's called them ISIS now. ISIL, <laughs> yes. So. They're just ignoring shit. Just, to, I don't know. I don't even know what he's aiming for. I don't even know if he's trying to be right. If he, or if yeah. he's just using this guy as a way to get laughs for his, his viewers. Dawson talked about a group of people like him. That's uh, what I think being, he's um, trying to Being do. funded. I mean, working for someone. It's basically to, to push a certain agenda out there. So they're, I think it's on purpose purposely I don't know about this dude he just seems like a dumbass <laughs> I, guess, top, right? Right? I think he's an employee <clears throat> you think this so? guy they, they pay me <clears throat> well, yeah they pay me but this guy's probably like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna say these things specifically ignore this side over here okay you're corrupt <laughs> you're corrupt just go the answer's no my friend no no reparations for you and we're gonna keep colonizing because it's called civilizing that's what colonization is it's called improving the world you know there's more people enslaved today in the entire world like enough said that's scary and i'm not gonna I'm not gonna let him cop out no by saying oh he's a racist or whatever no, no. like no i'm not you're not getting out of this argument that easily no not that I'll ever hear this, but when I get my chance, his name will be called, and he'll have no fucking choice but to say something. <laughs> That's just what it is. You better like he'd have to change his ways at yeah. some point. Like yeah. okay, he was just dumb. Eventually, one day. World, and they're having a so and they're all enslaved in Africa. Zero, for fuck's sake. zero in a white country. Capitalism is improving the world. Then why isn't the why is the planet dying? Why is the planet's planet not dying? Why, 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 That's another stupid why, why, liberal why, myth. Why, the majority, why are so many white people on prescription medication? Why are so many That's white people? Yeah, you're right. Drugs? That's terrible. Why are yeah. so many white people, you know, having all these mental freaking issues? Why are white people number one? Because we listen to assholes people? like you mostly. <laughs> you know, <laughs> absolute poverty in Africa has been cut in half in the past 30 years. So, really? yeah. I mean, absolute isn't like a. All right, I don't think we're making any progress here. There's no, there's no moving forward here. It's all like, we're going to get you, white motherfucker. We're going to steal your money. And yeah. I actually have an interview coming up. So, All right, okay, so that wasn't the argument, which means either he wasn't listening or he's corrupt. Purposely I'm not. I'm telling you, I think he's corrupt. Pur so. Purposely not, yeah. That definitely makes sense. Yeah. And going Benjamin's a little different. This guy is just all in. Yeah. And I don't know how many corporate dicks are up his ass, but he's like, yeah. I'm going to have to listen to uh, Dawson. Yeah, Dawson said specifically again. It's just one video. Talking about like rebel media, I'll send it to you. that like heavily pro-Israel rebel media, that thing, something like that. As soon he, as he, 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 he mentions him specifically and a bunch of other people. I think as soon as it crosses over into Israel, Ryan Dawson's like all over it. <laughs> that's where I'm. That's why. Well, I'm like, it's it's weird because a lot of it is central. Like you know, like well, a lot of this shit's going down over there. What's going on? Yeah. yeah. Like, how come this? If I if I affect this thing over here, it's gonna affect everything else. 
Yeah. So it's like a big project. Yeah. So I, I get how. I got it. Right. Oh, Gazi, sorry. I do. I do appreciate. I you. really do appreciate you coming and on, Gazi. I hope that we can do this again. Me too. And I yes. Will yes. Just say that, um Y'all just need to study more. All right. All right. So we'll we'll read up on some African history. Oh. They no. They really need. They actually do need to study. Now. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Granted, he threw out all this shit, but you could tell he did some research. Even when he said, when he said, uh, "Coop, coops and military coop." Yeah, it's when coop. he said "coop" instead, yeah. it's like, yeah. "Oh, you actually looked into this." Yeah. This wasn't like I heard someone say this word. I'm gonna use yeah. it. It's like, oh, you did some reading behind it or whatever. Yeah. So he actually did research. Mm. These guys. No. I really think there's a guy just in the background holding up cards. Well, talking him. points. Hey, just a guy in the background on Feeding Google. On Google yeah. Like, Shh, here's your response for this. Yeah. Gosh, I love Google and YouTube. Anyway, so uh, why would he want to go back on after they call him a bitch? I wouldn't want to go back on. I'll do it. Because probably in his mind, he slayed them. Slayed the magic dragon. He only like 75% slayed them. He didn't really... Kill them to where they're embarrassed on their own. Say like, we're, on, we're on your 70, channel and I'm embarrassing you. How about 68? Like 40 something. No, as far as. Nah. Alright, to an, someone who actually looks into debate and arguments and looks into ideas, they'd be like, wow, they didn't answer any of the questions. And I mean, if you have an answer for something, you're like, oh, oh, oh you're going to yeah. want to stop them but to the say something. The point is to get them to say shit. It's like, that's not an answer, dude. I think their answer. silence is quite. Telling. I need, yeah, they were I quiet need for them. the say second half of the video. They barely it. said anything. So they kind of stooped them. Either way, we are done here. This two hour and 46 minute video. A marathon. So 75%? Seven? What, what percent were you that they got owned? 70. 75%. I, I think if he stopped, if he said a point that was like legit and stopped and made them answer the question their silence would have been telling or their subject change would have, change would have been telling just like the fucking kangaroo with Jesse Lee Peterson yeah he says a point and he gets out of his way or he asks a question he gets out of his way and the guy just destroys himself yeah and the only thing left is just amazing okay fair enough you add that on to the end and you're like okay you're done for game All right. over thanks for watching please Give subscribe if you made it this far though. please subscribe if you like always comment uh, subscribe to us on YouTube and Twitch and Twitter and, and Instagram and Instagram yes and Facebook and with that I don't have a Facebook <laughs> and with that said give this video a thumbs down say you wanna get in